Are we live? We're live. Live on stream, everyone. That's what I'm talking about. All right, looks like I don't have to check the Twitch thing. Am I on Arshi TV? How about that? That's a question we should be asking. Am I live on Arshi TV or Honda's Element? Because Honda's Element is right here. Yo. Live. What's up, Ewok? Oh, Anchor 8. Ewok, what's up, buddy? Honda says hi. Yeah. We are currently inside of Hondo. Honda's element. It's kind of weird. There we go. So with today we're gonna get um, some ingredients. And uh, we're gonna be making a poll on Discord. Uh, the Discord, if you guys don't know where to find it, it's so estimation mark Discord on Twitch chat. You'll be able to see where the Discord is. And um, you'll be able to go and see. Who do you think is gonna cook Thanksgiving? Is it gonna be Hondo's Element? Or is it gonna be Arsh TV? It's gonna be an ongoing thing, you're just gonna react to it as a as an emote. Either it's Hondo's or Arshi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hondo's. Anchor 8 has joined the family. Anchor, thank you so much, buddy, for the four uh, for the four months, man. Welcome to the family. You've been a part of the family for a while. Love you, buddy. Thanks. Did you get a chance to see the Summit 1G uh, Planetside 2 stream? I'd be curious if you were there. We were there. Get rid of the gum? But the gum is so good. I wish I could get rid of it. Mm, do you just spit it on the floor? No. No, we'll do that. Spit on the floor? <laughs> no! Chatty spit it on the floor. No, I didn't put it on the floor. I put it in a bag. There's bags on my floor. <laughs> that's, that's true. Actually, that's very true. You Dingus! Guys. What's up, buddy? Dingus69 is officially not in COVID anymore. I know. That happened that's, the other day. That's fantastic. I'm so excited for Dingus. You Dingus. Uh, we're going to go and uh, get a chance to check out some ingredients. There's a guy over there. He's anything. God bless him. God bless you, sir. Fantastic. Um, it's been a while since uh, Hondo actually had a chance to drive his car because he's been with me for the last 22 days. So if you're going to see a little dust and dirt, it's because we haven't had a chance to give his car a car wash. It's because that's just what it looks like normally. Cut that. Just cut that. Just cut that. All right, we're going to probably get a car wash soon. It looks like there's a car wash on the right. What do you think about that? Grimo chat, you're going to pay for my car wash? There we go. Chat, I'll pay you to pay him. <laughs> no. <laughs> he won't let me basically get him a car wash. It's right there for only five dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a great five dollar car wash. We're actually trying to get in those left lane. Oh. Actually, I didn't know that. This. That's really nice of him. I didn't know that we were doing that. That's kinda of his fault for not stepping up. That's what I'm talking about. Ewok will pay. <laughs> He's COVID free now, Kappa. The sun is like right in my eyeballs. It's golden hour. It is golden hour. Look at that, guys. Like, how can you see that? Like, even he's having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. What's the bitrate? Bitrate is good. Everything is fine. Dirt just protects the car more. Oh, Kappa. Very true, actually. If you that think about it. just doing Twitch without Twitch. That's very true. I think he does a better job than I do. I know they hustle a lot more Some than Some people do. make good money. Yeah, in just depending on the actual place that they stand. Like, I've seen, like, articles of, like, people who have, like, sick homes and, like, cars and shit. Like, yeah, and they beg. And then they just put on shitty, oh, crappy clothes, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no worries. And pretend to be homeless. Yeah, I've actually seen that documentary about homeless people making over six figures. Just begging at the right places and, you know, also some people, like, acting like clowns and making it fun for people to donate to them. They're just, they're just live Twitch users. They're just not on a platform. And they don't pay taxes, that's another one too. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean they do pay taxes on the house they bought. But you can also find them in my closet. But us Twitch users don't pay taxes either, right? Yes, we do. You do? You pay taxes? Yeah. You don't? Whoops. You don't have to pay taxes until it's $500 or more, I think. I think you have to pay taxes from the beginning, actually, now that you mention it. 
But no, but uh, t- Twitch automatically taxes uh, your your income when they sent it back to you. But you just have to file it in your ta- uh, with your taxes. Danny Stewart, it's good to see you. You can also find him in my closet, depending on the day of the week. From Ding is sixty nine. Coming in. We're currently driving. What are we Looking finding in, in your closet, Dingus? I don't really know what we're supposed to find in this closet. Dingus is being a dingus. We're now driving to go get some ingredients today. I really don't know what shopping center we're going to go to. Are we going to go to the same one we went to last time? Where did we go last time? With uh, Andy? Or is that too far north? Oh, that's way too far north. Oh, okay. That was a nice one though, right? 45 minutes north. Yeah. 45 minutes. 45 minutes is nothing for us. It's a lot. What? When did it become a lot since you got in the Honda Honda Element? It's, It's a lot. Austin, like to go to a grocery store. Oh, I just thought I'd have to. I'd probably end up driving by like ten grocery stores at least. Oh, I see. I'm just saying in general, based on how we've been driving, 20, 40 minutes, nothing. Not just like shoulders. We're doing like 16, 20 hour drives, <laughs> just intense like stuff. Find Archie Poo in my closet, depending on the data. <laughs> Also, how are you and Hondo doing? Danny Stewart just asked. Hondo, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Slept in my own bed last night. That was nice. Must have been nice. Um, I still slept kind of weird. Me too. Um, I had a dream that Archie had a stream last night. And then, like, I was already asleep and he didn't tell me. And he just put the camera in my room and was doing a sleep stream. But on me and you guys were paying to try to wake me up and I was all pissed because he was getting money and trying to mess with me and I wasn't getting anything for it and I was like, Archie, what the heck are you doing? Like, what the heck? And then it was just a dream. Oh my god, did you really? Yeah. That is so funny. Oh my god, no, I never will do that. I mean, I might do like one TTS just because somebody's dying to do a T or something, but I wouldn't do more than that. That is too funny. No, I actually had a dream that I left my stream on, and I told Hondo while I was awake. I was like, Hondo, did I turn off the stream? He's like, you're not streaming. I was like, I just went right back to bed. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna go to sleep. All the streaming every single day, I, I've had dreams of me sleep, accidentally leaving the camera on, or just afraid that I left it on the entire time, and just like, oh my god, I forgot again. And uh, that's pretty. That's practically our how we've been feeling. But no, we've been doing good, Danny Stewart. Uh, he's my little special arch poo that I don't want to share. What have I smiled at? <laughs> What's going on? Dingus. Oh, but it was a dream. <laughs> PTS. Wait, that wasn't a dream? I saw it on stream yesterday from Dingus. Maybe it wasn't a dream. I did not stream yesterday. Or right. You ever been to Golden Corral? No. It looks like a bunch of hotels. It's oh. usually just a bunch of senior citizens in line for a buffet. Really? Yeah. Interesting. We could probably go and interview every one of them and see, like, what are they expecting? They're probably just hoping not to die. Oh, that's... That sucks. That's <laughs> not good. I hope you guys enjoy your meal. Um, wow. What is over here? Damn. Some of these driveways are just not normal the way they designed it. What the heck is Oh my god. I don't think you guys designed for drainage at all. Oh, it's like I opened up this. That wasn't open the last time I was home. Yeah, no, I'm just looking at the right side and it's just it's sloped so severely that they don't want to deal with basically building any uh, channels or anything like that. What's up, Beast from the East? It's good to see you, man. Woo! Make it Yui's in the house. How you doing? Vaughn already deleted no proof. <laughs> Dingus. Oh, man. We're on our way to get some ingredients. We got Cube Smart self storage over there. Interesting. Shut up. Oh, God. 
So, right. Not that I have any uh, thoughts that your community would do it, or just a future tip. But IRL streaming and you're going to a place, and then you start naming all the other places around it, you make it really easy to dox yourself. Is it really? Yeah. You mean people can actually figure that out? 100%. Oh my god. Dude, some people are really good at geolocation. Mm -hmm. I remember playing that game a long time ago. I never knew that. Oh yeah, if you think about it, I'm practically giving them waypoints. Like a plan assign. It's only I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with you. But like I said, I don't think your community would do that. No, but that totally makes Just sense when I get for when I get future yeah. endeavors. No, hundred percent. That's very smart. I'd be like reading off every sign like it's a shoutcasting opportunity. Like, looks like we've got barbecue on the left hand side. <laughs> All right, we made it. Are you guys, uh, what are you guys gonna be making? Uh, that's a good question. We're gonna be making a turkey that's gonna be brined. Uh, I believe we're gonna be having mashed potatoes and gravy, yep. uh, macaroni and cheese, yep. stuffing, uh, cranberry sauce, or actually cranberries that only smashed into a sauce. We don't know yet. Um, I think we'll be having some Potatoes that are like these little skinny potatoes. No, no, not, none. Of them. We're gonna be having some casserole. No, no. Oh god. Oh god. Um, we're gonna have a pumpkin pie. If you buy it, I'm not making <laughs> pie. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> what about that pie that was like the pecan? Oh, pecan pie. We gotta have the pecan pie. I'm not. I'm not making any pies. If you want to buy a pie, you can do it. Pecan pie. I'm not making. Oh, it looks like the episode 10 of the IRL VOD for Orlando, Florida is officially available, guys. You can check it out on YouTube. Thank you so much, EwokX, for the post of that VOD. It's officially available to watch on YouTube, guys. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put on my mask and enjoy what it looks like to be in a supermarket here in 2020 in Texas. Here we go. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. He's excited. Oh nice, I've been putting I've been put in charge of making rolls. Oh yeah, we have rolls. We got rolls. We got rolls. Are we making rolls? Pillsbury's. Pillsbury Doughboy rolls, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know why, but I'm excited. It's disgusting. Oh god. Looks like we parked in such a spot. What's disgusting? They're the Velociraptors! Look at them! Do you hear them? They're freaking everywhere. This isn't like Crow City. What are these called? No. They're not just birds. Yep, my hair's not gonna hold. This wind is intense. This is incredible. They're called Archie Poos. They're not called Archie Poos Acre 8. Look at that. Lowest price. Guaranteed. Texas made. Texas made. All right, I'm excited. Let's go inside. Oops, so sorry. And here's Hondo. Currently taking the first basket. Currently wearing the Twitch icon. Excited. Oh, damn. What is that? Wow. Can I show them this? What? Yeah, I mean, it's grocery store. Ooh. Looky, looky. It's a nice grocery store. I love it. Hi. Oh, we can't come? Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Thank you for letting me know. Guys, I can't basically film here. So I'm gonna have to go get permission from headquarters. I'm gonna give them a call. I'm gonna go be right back.
What's up guys, can you guys hear me? Testing one, two, three. Probably because I look super fancy. I think you guys are probably right about that. Um, if I just had normal clothes on, yeah, regardless of whatever it was. Um, what's up guys? Oh, it's not a clip. No, 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 I'm clearly live right now. But um, overall, uh, I'm gonna be having to, I just sent a message over to their uh, customer relations as far as how to create content in the stores. There's a lot of learning stuff. This is a big learning curve to go into stores and stuff like that. So having a setup like I have right now where it's in my hands, kind of obvious out in the, out in the public, kind of basically sets uh, the standard of I am a filmographer with, of course, my outfit. Bailey, don't thank you so much for the host. We're gonna go inside and um, I'm gonna take photos of all the ingredients that we're basically uh, shopping with. And then um, I'm gonna post them on Instagram. And uh, I will start live streaming when we get back home um, or on our way back home and then we'll show you guys basically all the ingredients we bought and then we'll start prepping for the brine on the turkey and stuff. So I'll do some streaming today, it'll be a short one. I'm gonna have to basically, uh, so we're gonna make it inside. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it inside unless the guy DMs me back on Twitter that it's okay. So I sent him a Twitter message. I don't know what the chances of him actually responding is. Um, I could message him directly, like publicly, about it, but I don't want to be that guy to, um, you know, force his hand. So I, I want to send him a, a DM privately and um, seeing if he's okay with that first. But other than that, it, it could be a huge issue as far as filming so many people in a public store versus a public property, a private store instead of a public property. Because private, private property, uh, public property, whatever you want to call it, is okay to film because that's basically you're allowed to film. It's your it's amendment, right? Or whatever you want to call it. But in a private store, they have the right to deny any photography or anything like that. So I don't want to be that guy. So guys, I'm going to be basically go ahead and end the stream. We're going to send the, send the raid to... Oh my God, there's so many birds. Like astronomical amount of birds, guys. Like, let me go and show you guys those birds real quick before we get started. Before I end the stream, at least I want to show you guys those birds. This is more birds than I've actually seen in my area. Like, you guys remember that, like, uh, you guys remember the video for, like, the Pixel movie? Um, there's a Pixel movie with all the birds on, like, the, on the string or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a birds on a, on a pole. But look at this. Look at this. It, it is out of control, I'm out of birds. All those are birds up there. Like, unbelievable amount of birds over there too. Unbelievable amount of birds over there as well. Just look at all these birds. I swear I'm gonna get pooped on. I know I'm gonna get pooped on. This is how you get pooped on. How many, there's bird poop everywhere. There is bird poop everywhere. Bird poop everywhere. That is insane. Power line, yeah. That's out of control. We're gonna go ahead and uh, end the stream right here. Yeah, I'm live. Hi guys. We're gonna get started. <laughs> turkey, turkey, turkey. There we go. Awesome, we're live. Thanks, buddy. So, Honda, what are you excited about this place? Um, I've only had the breakfast tacos before, so I'm excited to try anything new. Breakfast tacos? <clears throat> Dude, they have a lot of breakfast tacos, now you mention it. They have a lot. Looking forward to see what they have here. So, we've got breakfast tacos and lunch and dinner tacos. we got beef, chicken, seafood, pork, vegetarian. They have a lot of vegetarian options. He's got freaking vegan. 
Papa Dolce, Space Cowboy Taco Shiitake, and the Heavier. The Heather? Interesting. Let's see if I want to get one chicken, one beef. Do I want a pork? No. Seafood? I don't think I'm doing any seafood. No. Yeah, grilled chicken breast and lancho onion for the Mexico City chicken. Pico. Pico de gallo? Pico Sipo? Yeah. Where do you see that? On the El Polo Sito. El Polo Sito. El Polo Sito, I see it now. It's, it's basically. Yeah, it's Pico Sito. Soy lime infused Pico Sito. I don't know what Pico Sito is. Special name of Pico de gallo here or something? I think so. Pico Cito, El Pollo Cito. I don't know, but I'm excited to show you guys. We have a thing called El Pollo Cito up there, and it's a grilled chicken, soy lime infused Pico Cito, avocado, and queso fresco. These are all the different places here. I'm so hungry right now. We literally got all the ingredients for Thanksgiving and I'm starving. I literally saw all the foodies buying. I wanted to buy more food just because you're hungry. And thank God I was not at Costco or else I'd be ordering like, I'd just be getting cases upon cases of food. Just snacks and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I mess that up every time. And then you yeah, look at the thing and I'm like, two months later, I was like, still got the food. I love snacks. Yeah. You gotta go first? You go. You go. go I have no idea. I'm gonna ask this person though. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Um, what uh, what lunch and dinner tacos do you recommend for first timers? Lunch and dinner tacos. Yeah, like something that's more exotic or exciting. Well, oh. so this is the most popular taco on the menu. It's uh, the cowboy. The cowboy. It's, it's got some beef tenderloin uh, with some grilled corn, caramelized onions, roast peppers, all that. That one's a crowd favorite. I want that one. Yeah. That's one so far. What else? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I'll say you. I'll say you. No problem. Dry rub beef, tenderloin, uh, grilled corn, caramelized onion. This is uh, one of my personal favorites. Tender so. belly pork. I'll take that one. Cool, yeah. I don't know why, but I'm so hungry, I'll eat all of it. Yeah, that one's delicious. And, what about um, for chicken? The chicken? Uh, so I really like this one, Pollo Fantastico. It's shredded chicken, roasted green chili sauce, and uh, crema mexicana and green onion. Yes, sir. What else do they have? That looks good, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, so another good one is a pollocito. What is a pollocito? So it's like, it's this chicken um, and it's got this soy lime infused picasito. Oh well, yeah, the soy lime pico infused. It's kind of like this. Sounds uh, like a Pikachu. It's like this, it's like Sorry. this darker sauce. Uh, it's, it's a pretty strong flavor. Okay. Pretty spicy. I really like it. It's really smoky. Smoky. And then the Pollo Fantastico versus the Pollo Cito, which one do you recommend? I think the Pollo Fantastico. Pollo Fantastico it is. Let's get that one. Um, and then the, you have like this blue plate special, any two tacos with uh -huh. With red beans, uh, rice and beans, uh -huh. and uh, is it like a combo for that or something? So it'll, it's like just uh, any two tacos that you pick plus two dollars. Plus two dollars for rice and beans. Versus uh, getting one of these. Okay, I want that. Yeah, can you want the blue plate? Yeah, sure. but I still want to add the third taco. Yeah, and I can I can put the third taco in there as well. Awesome. And, um, you want to refried black beans or whole black beans? Uh, can I get half and half? Yeah, uh, well, that work? I can like, you want rice as well, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, I can like put a little side of uh, like a whole, uh, one of the other beans, like in a four ounce container sure. on the side. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Just want to try them all. Sweet, sweet. I'm from California, so I have no clue. Oh, cool. I was told to come over to Taco Deli and it's like, let's do it. Sweet, hell yeah. Live on the street. How'd you hear about us? Uh, people from the chat. Oh, cool. They were just like, you got to come here. I'm like, let's go. That's cool. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Um, anything else I should order, or? Uh, you want some queso and like some salsa? Queso and salsa. We can uh, do some of that for you. Cheese, queso, no that's not it. Where's the queso salsa thing? So uh, we have any of these salsas, and we sell them in these containers. Okay. Here we go. On these containers. And we can get them to some chips. Here we got queso right here. Uh, in these containers we can sell them with some chips. Let's do a small queso and chips. Small queso. That's got guac and queso sounds good. Uh, I have guac all the time, but queso. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Queso. Sounds good. You said it's a small one, right? Yeah. That's only for one person. <laughs> Look at that. All that for one person. Any uh, drinks at all? Uh, drinks. 
Are we gonna eat it here or to go? Are we allowed to eat uh, at that table over there? Uh, not that one, unfortunately, but you're welcome to eat anywhere outside. Anywhere there's outside? Outside tables, and there's a bunch of picnic tables over here as well. There's a lot of... Eat up here at the bar. Okay. Can I get you here at the bar? Right there? Yeah, right up there. We, we can okay, go up there. Now. We can just clean the floor in a second again. Wanna do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll eat at the bar. Cool. Sounds good, man. Cool. And, uh, I'll do like a little mix of all these salsa so you can try them You're out. the best, man. I appreciate it. You got you, buddy. What's your name? It's gonna be Arshi, A-R-S-H-E-E. -E. There you go. Appreciate it, Thank you, man. Uh, and this is the live stream, if you wanna watch it, Arshi TV. Oh, sweet. No oh, problem, man. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. I was just about to ask what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah. Do you like a... Uh... Do you know Twitch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm live streaming on Twitch right now. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. Cool, man. He's oh, also yeah. a Twitch streamer, too. It's called Hondo's Element. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. We've been okay. basically doing a road trip from Texas all the way to New York, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., Florida, then New Orleans, and we just got back. Nice, dude. It's been a crazy trip. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super sick. Like right yeah, it's just out of control. You gotta do what you can. Hey, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, would you like to leave any gratuity for the team now? Uh, yeah. Can we put, um, uh, how much was it? It's two? Let's put yeah, basically. Uh, can you put it basically for three? You said three bucks? Right? Yeah. Cool, yeah, totally, man. And I'm gonna grab that queso right now for you. Thank you. Well. Thanks, Billy. Appreciate it. What's up? I'm gonna set this up over here and enjoy this meal. <coughs> so I can actually showcase this to you guys. But if you guys wanna see what the hell I just ordered, these are this is the entire menu, guys. Spider guys, I, did, I tried to cut the thing, but that looks scary. We're gonna move this over here. I'm gonna give that to somebody else. There's no spiders on this one. I think we're good. Okay, lucky. Alright, we're good. Cool. Let's put this over here. Right there. Yeah. All right. Let's put this right here. I like the fuzzy guy on there. I want. I, I like it too. Right? Like the wind to hit to like test it out. They won't basically have any uh, wind problem though. I hey, know. look at that guy. So excited. Have you had this before? Huh? Oh, you work, work here. here. I work here. Yeah. You want to tell? You want to tell everybody your Instagram? Hey y'all. Follow me on Insta. It's Pearly Dewdrops. Come to Top Billy here in Austin. Good stuff. Super excited to try everything you guys got. I like literally ordered a whole menu. Right. <laughs> so good. You Thank you. Come back. Appreciate it. What did you order? Look at that creative yee is excited. Hondo's looks like tongue is exhausted. Listen, Hondo's literally is a champion here tonight. He literally went through all the ingredients, the brine ingredients. He had everything set down to a T. I went to a, I went to go and stand next to him, and like for the first time, I felt like I was actually like overwhelmed with the amount of work he put into this Thanksgiving meal. I was like, holy crap, this guy's a chef. And it's gonna be really cool to basically showcase that on the 26th. Everything's super organized, he's had a notepad out, went through every single piece, and I was like, can I get mozzarella? He's like, Archie, do you wanna cook? I'm like, no, we're good, we're good. Looks like Hondo's is gonna handle it. 
So. I had to remind him who's cooking. <laughs> That's true. Remind That's him true. who wears the skirt in this relationship. I for sure wear that. I don't want to sit. You know what yeah, I appreciate that. And that's like 100% final answer. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm used to it. I've to do it like three times. I don't know I had to tell him, I was like, hey, who's cooking right now? Me or you? But we got through it. Um, it was a good shopping moment. There are a lot of paper towels there, so that sucked. Um, we're just gonna have to use crappy napkins. But it'll be good. I'm excited. I haven't done a big cook like this in a while. It's probably been like two months since I like did a big cook. The last thing I did was uh, a Greek salad and what else? There's a couple of courses. Greek salad, baked potato soup, and... This is a watery queso. It is. I'm surprised at that. I can't even think of all the other ones. What did you get? Um, I did the Mexican City Sirloin, a cowboy, and a El Pollo Cito. I did the Pollo Fantastico, I did the cowboy, and I did the, um, the Deli Belly, I think. The pork belly one? Yeah. I did one of each. Beef, chicken, and pork. Nice. Alright, guys. Hey, Those guys, pizza. I hope you guys enjoy your meal. Saying hi from the gym. Oh, those chicken getting ripped. Oh, I can't wait to work out, man. I literally have been slacking in that department big time. I just washed my hands. We're gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna show you guys this queso. This little queso, little dip happening over here. Look at that. Hey, I'll take, oh, take care, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. All right. We're going to check out this little drip of queso. Look at that. The consistency. I'm usually used to queso looking like macaroni and cheese, but this is going to be interesting. One dip only, so I can give Pondas a chance to try it. One chip. One chip, one dip. You don't want to piss off Seinfeld? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, hi. Good? Okay. Right. You got to try it. has a lot of corn in it. I had the queso on the tacos before. Okay. I've never. I gotta say, it's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Mm. There's, there's virtually no way I'm gonna finish all that. You might be tackling with me. I appreciate it. Because I don't want to go bad. We can do one dip sessions here. Very liquidy. It could be mm. a little thicker. I don't know, right? It's pretty good though. It's like cheese soup. Oh yeah. It is pretty much cheese soup. No joke. Cream of you, it's good to see you, buddy. Ewok, it's good to see you, man. Sorry about that earlier, guys. We kind of got kicked out of the, the place to go live stream the turkey ingredients. I didn't expect it to um, that'd be a problem. They were on it. Instantly. The moment I got in, they're like, this guy with the silly tux, we gotta stop him. And it happened. Very nice about it, though. Some are made thin like that, but I do like mine thicker. Right? I was drinking them the same way. <laughs> I don't know what the... I like how the... The, uh, the facing most are there. Can you give me a Chico? Chico? Oh, man. Oh, I wonder if we met the bar outside. Or the bar inside. No, you met inside. Yeah. Maybe we didn't. Still close. That's the most I can think of. It's just, it's just as cold here as it is on the outside. There's not much air conditioning. It's probably colder in here than Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Just to me, it feels a little cleaner though. Because of all the leaves out there and the dust. This is nice though. This is a good case. I was thinking about getting the guac. You know, you always got guac with Mexican food, but the queso stood out to me. I was like, you know what? Have you ever had a picnic in a park? I am the worst picnicker you want to eat with. Because I'll get like a brand new fresh little sheet. I'll double sheet it. So where like your back, you lay down six feet out. You won't touch any dirt. Take off your shoes before you get on the picnic table. And then... Do you make like a girl do all this stuff? I do day? I no, but I mean like, hey. Take your shoes off. No, no, no. I do all of it. They just mimic it. They just follow it through. But they also really appreciate it. Honestly, my picnic, my, my picnic dates are like really appreciated. It's a little evil. 
But uh, I do understand that. She understands that, but she appreciates that. Piece. We're gonna all the little things that I bring to the table, where we can lay down and bring a pillow next to us. Like everything's like there. Who do you think is more high maintenance in your relationships? You or the women you date? Me. Hundred <laughs> percent. I am way more high maintenance. Not, not for them. I mean this for myself. I don't make them do anything. Um, I think it's because of Persian. Yeah. Most likely. Um. Maybe it's an Irish thing. I don't know. So why are you not high maintenance? Why are you like cool with everything? Just go with the flow. How did you become like that? Um. This is not easy. For me, it's just, for me, it's just easier. Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you so much. I got all the ingredients, guys. Look at that. Every single sauce ingredient. I'm gonna try them all. This one's the best sauce. Really? Yep. The verde? Yep. I need more verde then. I don't really mess with the other ones. They didn't give me enough verde. I got two verdes. I got the biggest, small of this one. They gave me the smallest verdes. What the hell? They gave you two small verdes too? Yeah. Is the verde like the best? I'm assuming that's why. Same sauces on these guys. Small, big, small, big. Um, they gave me beans on the side because I asked for both types of beans. I'm assuming that this is a tortilla or tortilla. Oh, this is a taco. They put on the side for me. This is the pork one, guys. Check this out. Check that out. I think this is the shredded chicken. This one's the shredded chicken. We're gonna try this one right now. Live on stream. Taco Deli. Since 1999. Love them sauces, right? Let's check it out. I'm excited. How many people uh, actually in chat actually went to the Discord? Exclamation mark Discord. I know I'm like advertising my own Discord right now. But how many of you guys actually went to the Discord and uh, selected who is going to be cooking? Is it going to be me or is it going to be Hondo's Element? On uh, my Discord, there's two emotes you guys can actually select. I would love to know your guys' opinion on who you think would actually cook Thanksgiving meal coming up next. Mm. No, it's really good. The rice and beans are good. God damn, everything here is good. Mmm. That is good. Taco Deli, guys. Check that out. I'm loving it. Alright, let's go take a bite out of this. Let me close this back up. So I can keep it warm. Somehow Hondo can have cold food. That's something I'm gonna have to teach him. The delicacy of the pop. <laughs> I, as soon as the uh, as soon as the uh, the turkey is primed and ready to go, and he pulls it out. I'm like already taking a bite out of the leg. I'm not letting him pull it out without somebody biting it as soon as possible. Like nope, talk, get to go. Vampire onto it. Do you time all your uh, all of your ingredients at once? Like mm -hmm. I had the so when I got the cookbook, yeah, I timed every single item to come out at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that way, when I hit it all at once, I put it on the table. I'm like guys, it's all hot at the same time. Go. So like it was like almost a video game for me. So you can kind of do that, but um, cooking by oh. time isn't the best thing to do. What? You want to cook by internal temperature. Okay. <clears throat> I want to know more. Um, so this is really good. Holy crap! And like dark meat and light meat mm -hmm. have two different temperatures. So we've done it. Dark meat is gonna get done five degrees lower than white meat. Dark meat is gonna get done five degrees lower than white meat? Like, well, you can take it higher, I mean. Like, okay. Because it won't dry out. Because it's on the bottom of the turkey. It's, it's and it's more moist. Mm -hmm. How do you prevent the turkey from getting dry? Well, I don't cook it a traditional way. Oh. What's, okay, help me understand traditional. 
They'll see. They'll see? Okay. What, uh, define at least what traditional means. Before we... You don't have to define your way, but what's the traditional way? Look at how a turkey looks in photos when you put it in an oven and all. That's like a traditional, like a classic turkey. Okay. Parts of that. Here you go. This shredded turkey, the ta- taco, is so good. I didn't even look at the price, but it's worth it. How much does this stand? Taco. Tacos are like two or three dollars each or something. Maybe four bucks. I think it's like three ninety-five. Three ninety-five a taco. I would say it's a little overpriced as far as the taco is concerned from the place I'm at, but it's extremely good. Um, I'm giving it a five out of five as far as the taco is concerned because I've had tacos before without enough meat without enough spice in it, without the kick. This is extremely good. Taco deli, man. I don't understand how the hell you have good tacos here in Texas, but I guess we're by the border of Mexico too. Mm. Mm. It's really good. I'm gonna try the other ones and see if they even compare. But this shredded chicken one is amazing. What's your taco level? What do you rate that one? Not good? Whatever. Wow. This is the Mexico City. God damn it. I have the same one as you. Let's find out. Let's find out how it knows. This was versus mine. It's like whatever. Yeah, is that right? I mean, it's pretty steep, right? True, you get what you pay for, I guess. No joke. I'm used to like. Uh, dollar ninety, uh, dollar fifty tacos, ninety nine cent tacos for Taco Tuesdays. But that's a Taco Tuesday, so. And I, that's like the only time I eat tacos is on Tuesdays. And it's so convenient for me to go anywhere. My mm. Here we go. Next section. Oh my God! Is that the other thing? This looks insane. That's a different one. I oh, got yeah, a different one. Huh? That's uh, the cowboy. We got a cowboy. Okay. Guys, here is the cowboy. It's it's monstrous. It's big. It's really packed. The cowboy has it's a dry rub beef tenderloin, grilled corn, caramelized onions, roasted peppers, guacamole, and queso fresco. The queso fresco is on top, and that is what you guys see right now. Those the white zoning. Uh, you'll notice the. Um, what is it? The roasted peppers are in there, that little red tinge. Um, the caramelized onions are inside, they're kind of hidden. You'll see right there. And it's just a mouthful. <clears throat> this looks like a burrito, but it's a taco. So this one's huge. Comparable to the chicken one, this looks like it's got a ton of protein. Let's try that. Sally, the tour is almost over. The tour is almost over for Texas, but we still have a tour from Texas to the West Coast, and seeing if uh, if it's a uh, roommate, we'll give him an opportunity to get another chance. About that. I forgot. Let's wait until after Thanksgiving it gets all cool and happy. It's a great idea. <laughs> you do whatever you want. Yeah, dude. I'm like Ethan, you really enjoy Thanksgiving, didn't you? Yeah. Thanks, bro. I'm like, what do you think about another week here? Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What is a hog of horror? You're gonna react to any of this food. Maybe because I'm hungry. I'm not sure. Maybe Honda's appetite. Look at that. Look at that. It's really good. I would still say the chicken one is my favorite, but this is just as good. It's got a good kick to it. Let's put some spice to it. I always ask. Guys, I literally never order whatever I want. I always ask them what is their favorite, what's their most popular items, and then what are the things that like would I really regret not having here if I leave tonight. And they just always customize an order. <laughs> Guys, I always ask that question. And then the next thing you always ask, is, do you have any hot sauce? (laughs) 
Hey, um. I didn't reach out yet. But I'm gonna read it in a second, guys. I'm just really enjoying this meal. Um, chat. Is it wrong to put hot sauce on a meal that's supposed to be eaten without hot sauce? What? There's something you put hot sauce on that you shouldn't. Okay. This one's kind of good. Already has a roasted. I can feel. But the spices are already all over the meat. I don't think it needs it. I mean, if you enough. like hot sauce, if you like hot things, I would still put it on. Hmm. It doesn't remove the, like, you know how some hot sauces just completely remove the taste of everything? Like Tabasco sometimes? But I mean, when it comes down to eating and cooking, eat and hmm. cook what you like. Hmm. Like, you don't have to listen. There's no, like, right or wrong. It's, like, what you like. Hmm. Makes sense. Good. I put hot sauce on everything. Wow, did I just do that? I just did that. I completely did that. I put hot sauce all over my phone. <clears throat> Sorry about that phone. Probably not gonna like me after this. Okay, there we go. Let's go check it out. What do we got? <clears throat> Scott G, it's good to see you, buddy. He says, What's up, the Hondo and Archie? It's good to see you, man. Lightning 2499. Uh, nine. Break the USA Tour 2020. We are actually currently halfway through the tour. We're about to end the tour in Texas when we started in Texas. And now we're going to restart the tour from Texas to the West Coast. So we're going to go to Las Vegas next. We're currently in Austin, Texas. Uh, Bulldog Tommy. It's good to see you, buddy. I put hot sauce on everything. That's what I'm talking about, Scotchy. Same. Hot sauce always added flavor to me. I can put on everything, and I do. I love it. I love it. I kind of feel that way about cheese. Like, I can put cheese on anything. You think so? What kind of cheese, though? I mean, there's different types of cheeses out there. Did I just do that? I just did that. Live on stream? <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> well. But I mean, I guess I'm not everything. Like, I wouldn't put cheese on a cookie. Why not? I don't know. You could, right? Technically. You could. I wouldn't want to. No. Try hot sauce on sugar cookies. Really? Is that oh good? Oh my god. That's so weird. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that works. Okay, those were two good. Those were two good, really good tacos. It looks like this shirt is going to be out of commission today. We have three more shirts. I have completely put avocado on my shirt. But the rice here is good too. Kind of has like a little sticky texture to it. It's pretty good. They usually have uh, like rice that's like... This is actually pretty good. It's got like a flavoring to it too. I don't know my mouth is still spicy. But... Damn, the rice here is good. I feel like everything here is freaking good. I've had really crappy food, but this is good. I like the Mexican Cokes. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Wanna try hot sauce on ice cream? I heard it's really good. Thanks, Scott G. You're so smart. <laughs> Hopefully more masks in Vegas than New Orleans. I really don't know, Lightning. I feel yeah. like it's gonna be worse. I think that, I think Las Vegas is gonna be worse than New Orleans. I don't know. It, that'd be tough. I really I hope it is. I I have to think that Las Vegas is better. I'm hoping so. Are you inside the the, the hotel? hotel? Yes. On the strip now. Yeah. I'm assuming on the strip it's gonna be bad. <laughs> but inside, like Caesar's Palace and like all that cool stuff, it should be okay. It seemed a lot to me though that the people of New Orleans who weren't wearing masks were local. Yeah. And I feel like there's not as many locals in Vegas as there is people that just come in and out from other places that are, you know, hopefully a little bit more health conscious and mask smart and ready, I guess. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think you're probably right about that. I love this wolf I have. I mean, the, the Texas mayor? I think the mayor of Texas. Oh, no, it was, it was Texas, right? The mayor of Texas, yeah. Uh, like the governor? I meant the governor. I don't know. The governor of Texas, or it was a governor of Las Vegas that got COVID, and they, they haven't changed the rules yet, so we'll see how it goes.
my god, it's so good. Okay, this next one is a uh, pork belly. I'm not sure really what to expect. I really don't expect this to be tasty, but somehow he says really good. I'm just kind of scared. It doesn't look appetizing, but we'll see. This is the pork belly, guys. For its looks, I would say it looks like, I don't know what to expect. It just, it scares me, but you know, I'm also. Okay, let's just see how it goes. Okay. 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 Let's just try this. Got all this hot sauce on the edge of it. Just mask my. <laughs> why does this scare you? I really don't know what the hell the square is. I don't know why they cut in squares. Uh, usually, uh, I'm used to seeing in different designs. But. But yeah, let's just see how it goes. least favorite of the three, but it's pretty good. Is that the pork belly? Yeah. Pork belly is not really my favorite thing in general. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got it's got a greasiness to it. It's actually, it's good. I'm not denying that. But the the meat, the beef one, yeah. had a good spice and kick to it. I felt like I had it blackened. It was really tasty. Like Jigwats, that's exactly why I'm not a big fan of pork belly. What do you say? That's just very fatty. Yeah, very fatty. I like it when it's thin and in bacon strips, but when it's thick and fatty like that, I can't really hang. It's really greasy. Like, dude, when I see like a pork belly salad, that just like makes me laugh. Right? It's not really healthy? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's really greasy, but it's good though. It's very fatty, for sure. But um, the other two was just spot on. I might have to put that one down. There you go, Nancy. Yeah, there is, there is. Thank you. Oh yeah, I like it, but I go for small portions. I literally just had that half taco. I am still hungry, but I think it's probably best to put it down. I'm gonna show this case out. This queso is still pretty good. This queso, this queso became a, a little bit thicker, probably because it's not so hot anymore. Um, but it is pretty damn good. Yeah. So, out of the three that I had, I had the cowboys. I had a dry rub tenderloin. Dry rub beef tenderloin. And then I had the... Um, Pollo Fantastico, which is shredded chicken with a roasted green chili sauce, creamy Mexicana, crema Mexicana, and green onion. Those were my two favorites, hands down. Vic Vicious is hosted. What's up, girl? Yo. She practically rated, but she basically put a post instead. It's good to see you, Vic Vicious. We're currently having um, a thing called uh, Taco Deli. A thing called Taco Deli. We're at Taco Deli right now, and we're enjoying every bite. Uh, Hondo and I just basically, this is Hondo's element, and uh, I'm RC TV, and we're both from the Adopt an Affiliate. Vic Vicious is also from Adopt an Affiliate. She's such a sweetheart. Uh, we had an opportunity to do an after show with her, and uh, we do this after show AAA Scuff podcast. I know I'm copying train wrecks, I'll think of a new name. And, uh, Did you know that it was copying train wrecks? Yeah, no. I mean, really, yeah, dude? Yeah. Come I'm on. Not joking. I didn't know it was called, I didn't know train wrecks had his own spot podcast. So the only reason why I called it Triple A Scuff Podcast is because Andy kept saying the word scuff. So I chose the word Triple A and I put scuff in it just so I can like, like, appeal to Andy and his, and his terminology. And then I realized I'm actually copying Trainwrecks and I was like, really? And Trainwrecks is Persian too, so I'm not like, I'm not going to basically handle that. Like, it's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Well, um, you called it like almost a podcast, but there's three A's in almost. Almost a podcast. Oh, almost a podcast. That's pretty good. You just have like the, like in the logo, have the AAA like stand out. Like, I don't know how if Andy has the AAA logo. He does. Like, take the AAA. AAA. He has like a document. Yeah. yeah. And 
and it's going to be hard to say almost a podcast on that terminology. But uh, I'll, I'll try looking to it. That sounds pretty good, almost a podcast, because it's practically almost a podcast. Yeah. But we're just chilling, just talking about Twitch streaming and stuff. And uh, other subjects that we bring up. I mean, I think we've known each other quite enough time, so we're, we're not talking about each other's streams anymore. We're talking about other subjects and our opinions on them. Yeah. What, uh, what are you going to cook, Vic, if you're still here? Mm. Speaking of food, I'm going to go cook some. Big Vicious, if you're gonna go leave, tell us what you're cooking before you go, because I'm kind of jealous. I need to learn how to cook. This guy is a chef for a D. You're gonna cook a steak, what kind of steak? Like, is it gonna be a filet? My fingers are getting cold again. Um, is it gonna be a f- uh, filet, or is it gonna be a um, T-bone steak? Um, let's guess what kind of steak you do. Carne asada, girl, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Um, do you like to blacken it? Do you like to thinly slice it? Or is it like a big skirt steak? What are we looking at? Uh, she's gonna go cook. Go, go, go cook. Go cook. I'm gonna ask you a thousand questions. You're gonna make me so excited. I just need food and I'm thinking of freaking carne asada. Um, my favorite was probably Disney World at, uh, Animal Kingdom. That was really cool. I'm gonna have to... I'm probably gonna say Times Square was one of my favorites, but I would say also Animal Kingdom and Disney World, um, the adventures at Epcot and everything like that. It was just a really cool experience to stream, and it was just less stressful. Um, I think that was my favorite place to stream, but if I had more time to be in a place, I think I would like to stay in New York a little bit longer. Um, it's just it was very difficult to enjoy because of the car was so big, parking was a pain in the butt, and um, not finding any place to <clears throat> feel comfortable freaking driving because you would go and hit a bridge every 10 seconds, like going up the wrong exit. That was miserable. Yeah. Um, no navigation systems actually really made you feel comfortable, not a single one, because there's always one of them trying to send you onto a parkway. Oh, yellow rice. Laughing my ass out that it actually isn't the wrong pronunciation. This is it, isn't a wrong pronunciation. Really? Yellow rice. Oh, <laughs> see what this is. Yellow rice. I like that. Is this yellow rice? I can't tell. Is this yellow rice? This is pretty tasty. If this is yellow rice, girl, I want to know. I don't know if this is yellow rice. This is really good though. Thanks, Lightning. I appreciate it. It's been follow- a fun following you guys since I can't travel. Yeah, traveling's been pretty tough, for sure. But um, this ride is going to continue going to Las Vegas next, and then San Francisco, Sacramento, and then down south to all the um, all the cool spots to stay, like Napa Valley and stuff like that. Get some wine and stuff. Wine country and stuff like that. So it gives a lot of California. Tonight, we got some food. I needed food more than anything else because I just saw all the ingredients this guy pulled. He pulled a ton of ingredients out. Monster. Uh, we're gonna have a great Thanksgiving thanks to this man. And uh, and uh, we're gonna have Thanksgiving at his place. I'm gonna try. To, uh, I'm gonna try to turn the the stream over to Hondo's, and I'm gonna be his cameraman. Probably gonna piss him off a lot, but hey. This is what the cameraman's got to do. He's got to get in there. He's got to show the ingredients. He's got to show the prep process. Got to get in his face to let the world know what a chef this man is. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to be like Miss Gift to his uh, Poseidon. So it'll be pretty fun to see how that works. I'm not sure if it's going to be really that much fun for him. But for you guys, I bet it'll be a blast. And uh, it will be on Hondo's channel. (coughs) And uh, Hondo will be streaming Thanksgiving from his stream. And I will be using the live view to run around circles to chase him the entire time. Um, what parts do you think is going to be 
downtime, or you don't, you don't think you'll have any fitting downtime? And when do you think you'll start? I haven't. I have to like <coughs> sit down and schedule that out. I haven't like looked at my timing yet. This will be the first time I've cooked a Thanksgiving not with a Traeger grill. Oh, so, you did with a Traeger grill? It'll be interesting. Yeah. I usually have at least two grills when I do it, um, and this time we're just going in the oven. So. So. Are you gonna be missing the pellets? It'll be all right without the pellets. <laughs> I, I won't get that I great remember, smoked flavor. I remember, I remember the pellets. I remember the pellets. The guy is like yeah. the pellets. The pellets. pellets. Smell the pellets. Let's do a pellet. Pellets. There was a there was a very funny video that this guy showed me. That this guy's just making fun of Traeger and like how much how expensive it is. It's expensive. They're pretty expensive grills, yeah. They're not as expensive as big green eggs. Oh really? Right. <clears throat> Pretty expensive what do you what do you what are your opinion on like green egg versus your Traeger grill? They're both great grills, um, but you get more cooking space, more bang for your buck. It's easier on a Traeger than it is a big green egg. Wow! Why would people pick up a green egg? Then? Um, What's the difference as far as like the one thing you can do on a big green egg that you like can't do as well on a Traeger? is you can get big green eggs a lot hotter. Oh. So you could do like a quicker sear. Um, but that's not something you really, you can still get a good sear on a Traeger. How much time difference are we talking about? I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay. I thought we were talking about four hours or something. No, 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 nothing like that. Oh. It'd be like a difference of maybe like five to 10 minutes. Oh, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Oh, it's really nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. This is not a Tra Traeger commercial, but how much is the price of Um, between a Traeger and a Green Egg? I mean, you might know, I don't know if you do. I don't know off the top of my head. I know at one point, like, the smallest Traeger was the same price as, like, a large, or an extra large, big Green Egg. Um, and the Traeger had more grilling. No, wait, what was it? It was the smallest Traeger had the same amount, which is $450, as the large big green egg, which is like $1,000. It's like cooking, cooking cubic inches, yeah. That's ridiculous. That's too much. And the nice thing about it too is it doesn't weigh like a bajillion pounds like the big green egg. Yeah, the big green like egg is full freaking heavy. heavy. Well, I think it's fully heavy. I remember I haven't moved one for my client. Not fun. No. I'm gonna put this away real quick. Time you go away, you take a piece of me with you. Ah, oh, make a Yui. I do actually. I make a Yui every time. Oh, fantastic! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was great. Thank you. I actually enjoyed uh, my favorite tour of the Cowboy and the Pollo Fantastico. Those are my two top Yeah, like that was that was uh, that was my go-to. And then um, so the the Cowboy and the Pollo Fantastico. And I gotta say the pork one was just a little bit uh, on the Fatty side, I would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the only thing that basically Sometimes pushed me away. Get a, not the best cut of meat, but we always try to get the, get the best. No, but it's good. It was good. I mean, like, as far as I had to rate it, I would say it was like your, it was your go-to on your cowboy. It was yeah. your go-to on your pork fantastico. I just love those. It yeah. was so good. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care, guys. Awesome. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Not even possible. I did it. One-handed. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Can you prank some people? Monkey D. Luffy, what's up, buddy? Uh, I don't think I have uh, any of your your skill sets. If I could do goma goma no and like start like stretching my arms out and like freaking people out, I would totally do it. What kind of pranks are we talking about, monkey? The biggest thing that I've got is this TTS. 
That would drive people crazy. That's something that you guys are very creative about it. Got this guy, got this guy named Monkey D. Luffy saying, hey, can you pull, pull some pranks? I was like, dude, I can't do something great. Yeah, what are you thinking? I'm just asking. <laughs> Turtle time! It's good to see you, buddy. Turtle time! Um, yeah, we are gonna go head to a gas station now to pump some. What is it? Air into your tires? Yeah. Get some air into the tires. We got all the ingredients in the back of the car right now. We got all of our Thanksgiving ingredients. We're gonna go and lay out for you guys and show you guys what we're cooking on November 26th. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I don't know where I am right now. Looks like we're gonna be lost, guys. We'll be next to a three hour drive. <laughs> Just kidding, no. We're right next to, our, next to uh, our place. How many bits for TTS? It's 100 bits for TTS if you guys want us to have that TTS go off in public. So far, some people have done a fantastic job embarrassing the living crap out of me. Sometimes they're just like, meh, not so great. And then some I had to run out of the store. That was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, right now, we just had Taco Deli. It was really good. Um, I had one chicken, one beef, and one pork. And as far as what the names are, I said them earlier. Uh oh. We're good. Uh, so as far as what the names are. My GPS. Sounds good. Uh, so as far as what the names are, where's the RV? We're currently inside of Hondo. Hondo's element. <laughs> oh, I know where we're, we're inside of a Honda element right now. And Hondo is uh, driving his car because we can't, we parked our RV in a. Our stop. RV? I own that half of that now? Well, I mean, you're practically part of the RV trip, so. Oh, our, it's our RV. Dang. Yeah, I thought, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. How you work at a company. Yeah. You start getting like time some, uh, and you get percentages yeah, percentage. of the company. Totally makes sense because he's been driving a percentage of this trip. Do he I does have get like, percentage. Uh, maybe like a point zero 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 one percent maybe? I think you do own percentage of this car. Nice. I mean, some of your DNA is on the car too, I think. Like, you know, skin, this car? Skin DNA. Or the RV. RV. Skin DNA. <laughs> some skin DNA there. That's what I'm talking about. Summit, Summit is back on PS2. Whoa. Wow. That's huge. That is huge. If Summit plays a game twice in a row, that means he really likes it. And that's really cool to see from Summit. Uh, sadly, I am not at home, so I can shoutcast the living crap out of his experience. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll make catch him up in the future when I get a chance to check over his VODs and shoutcast that or something. It'll be fun. Ewok, if you don't mind grabbing Summit's VODs before he deletes them, grab those two last VODs and download them and then, uh, and if it's not still on there, you know, you can send that to me and then I'll go ahead and make some content out of it. It'll be fun to give that back to Summit in a, a very cool way. And then we can start gaming with him. Thing is, if he brought... <coughs> Will he bring the infamous Shroud with him? Oh, Shroud. Uh, I think Shroud might come back if he gets game developers to support him. But Shroud was completely stream sniped so severely that he got sick and tired of it. And there wasn't as much support that we have on Twitch right now as as when Shroud played Planet Side 2. Uh, the developers are watching Twitch now. The Andy Sites is on top of it. Rel is on top of it. He's also on vacation. It's just like... They weren't even watching Twitch before? No. They just basically didn't have they any Twitch They just completely streamers. wrote off Twitch? Yeah. That's bonkers to me. Yeah, they didn't actually need to have Twitch part of their um, their growth at the time. And I started doing Twitch. I mean, they did Twitch like in 2012. And then they stopped because nobody's Twitch streamed it. And then they did it with Angry Joe. They did it with um, Bit Total Biscuit. And a couple other big ones when they first did it. That was with SOE, and then when it switched over to Daybreak, not really, twi not, not many Twitch streamers were still available. Um, and then uh, they got really heavily invested in doing Twitch dev streams. That was really cool to see them do that. And that's when they start paying attention to Twitch. So there's a lot more Twitch streamers now because of that. I got a little scared when we when you said we were in Hondos. I yeah, we're in a Honda Element. And Hondo's element is driving his Honda element. Very confusing, but you get the picture. You see what I mean? Love stream. 
Um, yeah. When we do the cooking, guys, on the 26th, well, really, I'm not doing the cooking. I'm the camera guy. Um, do you guys want to see up and personal cooking? Do you guys want to see, like, boiling water? You want to see, like, Hondo, like, in the element? Like, in the action? Or do you guys want to set a stationary camera up on a tripod, pointing at the kitchen and all of us walking in between and just watching us, just mingling within ourselves? What's more exciting to you? Like, really up and personal, be like, hey, what's up? And then, like, basically showing you, like, chopped up chicken, like, oh, like, this crazy stuff like that. Or do you want to have a stationary camera? Everybody in chat, if you guys are awake and alive, um, type one, if you want to see a stationary camera, or type two, you want to see an action cam, like a cameraman walking around and showcasing the space and what's happening. So you got one for stationary camera, two for action camera, I guess. Let's say that. What's up, Golden Totoro? I love your name, by the way. It's a great name. Your Thanksgiving is Thursday. I believe it is Thursday, correct. We'll have Thy other side, another adopt and affiliate who's flying in. Um, we'll be basically arriving uh, to the place a couple hours before we start serving Thanksgiving. I'll go pick him up from the airport or we can Uber him back to our place. Um, we have Ethan and his girlfriend and Hondo and myself. So, interesting. So we got twos, twos are for action camera, one is for stationary camera. One, but two for certain times. Okay, okay, interesting. I actually thought it was gonna be all action, but it seems like they have. I think they just said it the other way. I did? I think you said one was action and two was still. Crap, okay, how about Maybe. this guys, how I don't about this? Remember. Can you guys change it from one and two? Type in still for still camera, or action for action camera. Or S or an A. Or S or an A. So still camera or action camera. Whichever you guys prefer. And then we will set up the entire space on that day to match it. Because I have a tripod that can actually hold this camera in position and it could just hold that position for us. And you can see it's all in a still version or action camera. And we can just go and basically give you an idea of all the action and all the fun whichever you guys prefer. So still or action, type that in chat. That'll be more easier because I don't know which one I said anymore, it was one or two. Still in action and certain times. Scara Ma Manga, you're making this difficult, but I'll try to do both. <laughs> That's true. Still would be a lot better if it's basically where we're all finally eating. This place has a pretty good queso. Oh. East Ciders? Yeah, it's so East, Austin East Ciders is a uh, it's a cider, like alcoholic cider that is made here in Austin. And they use that to make queso? No, I don't think they use it to make the queso, but <clears throat> we're going to use some of it in our turkey brine. Cooking with Archie and Hondos. That's what Lightning said. Action Man Camera is what Red Arrow likes. You should have Alexa do that work. Mo still, most likely. Make a Yui. Interesting. Okay. I am actually very excited that I actually asked you guys what you guys want to see because in my opinion I thought the action one would be more interesting. But now we'll st we'll set up both. I think I'll just do like a 10 minute action and then we'll leave it on the still for act uh, for 10 minutes so you guys can see both kinds and then we'll ask you guys again on that day which one did you guys enjoy more the still or the action because hey there's always a chance that maybe after a little appetizer of both you might like one or the other. Because everybody's mind is thinking something different. They might think that the still is going to be like really cool to see and more relaxed. But then the action might be too intense. We don't know. Showcase some points of the cooking with action. I like it. I like it, Mikey Ewing. I dig it. Do you have the gas station? Yeah, there's one up here in the corner. Fantastic. So make sure the back tire does not pop. It won't pop. Okay. <laughs> On you when I'm not around. Wow. This is where I had that. Yep. I was gonna see if you recognized it. Mm -hmm. or right, as soon as I saw this, I knew right away this is the spot. Did you drive past it? I, did, I went right around. here and I saw that like that construction thing. I was oh, like, yeah. what the hell? I was like, oh, it's probably for construction. And I saw the construction above me. But yeah, I took all the photos of, uh, of this place. 
It's good. It's gorgeous. Very nice place. Did you get their mac and cheese? I did. It sucked, but it was okay. Like it's I, usually overcooked. It just it just was too. It wasn't a cheese that made me want to keep eating it. I felt like a couple bites were good enough. Mm. Um, my favorite mac and cheese, I know it's going to sound weird, is from El Pollo Loco. Mm. It is so damn creamy. And just, I want to slurp or lick the entire cheese out of there. There's something wrong with the cheese that makes me want to just continue eating it. Like, the cheese is so good that I don't even care about the macaroni. Like, that's I was like, ha, oh, ha, I was like, ugh. Mm. It's kind of weird. We might have to go get some mac and cheese from El Pollo, El Pollo to show this man what I'm talking about. Slurp. Exactly. Golden Totoro. Exactly. Not even why Canadians Thanksgiving is in October. Yeah, so Thanksgiving in uh, in Canada. Whoa, uh, what is this person doing? Oh, ooh, I don't know if I should show you this. No, that means continue. Me? Flashing them? To yeah. them. I mean, like, to them, they're not responding that way, you know? Are you pushing a button for them? No. Oh, I'm just... I bet you're, like, just like, yeah, come, come closer, come no. closer. <laughs> come, 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 come. Yeah, uh, I guess I can show you now what happened. Um, my car right there decided to go during a red light, and it went halfway, and then it started reversing back. That was crazy. Uh, I was like, oh, no! And uh, I can't show that on stream, but it would be very close to a bad moment happening for that vehicle. And hopefully nobody gets hurt. But it, it was a randomly, it was stopped in front of us in a red and just chose to randomly go. There was no, there was no green indicators anywhere. It just went forward halfway through the intersection and then came back. Oh, there's two puppies. There's two cute little puppies. Look at the puppies. Look at the puppies. There they are. Whatever it is, stop it. Whatever it is, stop it. What do you mean? I'm not sure. What do I do? Uh, oh, car wash. <laughs> Just kidding. Chat, now's your chance. Buy the car Chat. wash. Chat. Chat. We gotta get him a car wash. How much is a car wash? I don't know. It's up to chat to figure it out. So, no, wait, no, let's go find out. It says nine bucks for a car wash, guys, for the works. <clears throat> nine bucks for a car wash. And the air is right next to it. If anybody donates nine dollars, I will pay for the car wash. This guy needs a car wash big time. Look at, look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Car wash will also clean all this stuff. I won't clean all that stuff. I want to clean that stuff. <laughs> What's, be lazy. what's the right way? Not taking up all the fucking. But I don't understand. I don't understand why the the doors. But I don't understand how they put it there. Like usually it's in a corner, you know. Yeah, I don't get it. This is the first time I've seen it. Please roll up and. Oh, by the way, you can get free uh, air and water inside. You know that, right? Mm. I'm gonna do that for you, okay? Sure. I'll go get free air and water for you. You don't have to pay for this. I don't need water. I mean, it's free air and water. Oh, well, California does it. Let's find out if Austin, Texas does it. Because that's what I do all the time. Be right back, guys. I'm going to go get some uh, <clears throat> free air and water. Wish me luck. Free mahi mahi. Just tell the guy about it and he will activate it for me. Watch Hondo leave me, guys. I'm just kidding. Live on stream. Get a car wash, actually, and then pay, <laughs> just pay, then walk through it. No way. Oh my god, that'd be so bad. My camera, my entire equipment would die. I mean, maybe Hondo can, like, record it and I just walk through it and just get my butt kicked. No, Siri, I didn't call you. Hi. Hi. I was wondering if I could get uh, water or air. Air, yeah, it's just water. Oh, so it's not free air and water here? So it does actually cost money. Okay. Yeah. In California, it's free. That's fine. Is it? Yeah. Oh. That's what I was asking. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. So sorry. Dude, it costs money here. 
It costs money for air and water. I never knew that. Well, now you know. It's one more fact that you guys did not know about. It costs money here. They said they don't do it. They don't do it free, only in California. Oh. California gives you free air and water. I'll help you out basically getting this ready though. Because you're going to need uh, four quarters. Uh, I'm gonna go start undoing your tires so we can get all four of them done at the same time. I don't know if they all need it, but we can try. Yeah, and then inside your door, it says right, right here. Yeah, uh, we got 32 psi, 32 psi on all 32 and 34. The rear is 32, front is 34. Um, what we're gonna take out his keys. Did he lock? Did he, did he park the car? Okay, we're good. I took the keys out. So that way, nobody jacks his stuff. Okay. We're good. Let's start doing this chat. Well, that explains it. He doesn't have the thing already on there. Look at the tire. Look at how... You can see that tire versus that tire. Look at the bevel on that one. Chat. Most places in California charge also, but they're willing to do it free if you pay for gas. Interesting. You'll be able to see this tire, it looks normal. So does that tire. So let's go ahead and undo this. Chat. Okay. Do this. Probably not going to do them all because this one doesn't have a measuring system. You're joking. No. It doesn't have a measuring system? Why are you doing it here then? Let's go somewhere else. No. Oh my god. Do you have a measuring thing yourself? No. This is ridiculous. Okay, chat, we're going to watch the thing. Look at it lift. It's physically lifting. I'm actually watching it lift up. I have an idea. We can just visually yeah. see the difference. Car, what guys work in? At the car wash. Yeah. Make you. What did he say? How working at the car wash. Uh, it looks good. Like, look at that one and then this one? Yeah, it looks good. It looks like it's, uh... You should tap a little bit on each one. No, it looks good. You should tap a little bit on each one, though. Like, maybe like five seconds for each. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, two, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, yep. And just tap into each one. Because over time they will lose pressure. You want to put the uh, things back on? Yeah. I'm going to unhook that and I'll put this back on. You, you didn't have one on that one though? Yeah, I know. Okay. All right, chat. Kick it? <laughs> He's like, kick it, you'll know the difference. That's what truckers do. Yeah? Yeah. They also yeah. have bats. I don't think I... Did you do this one? Oh, yeah. I'm wondering why your car didn't give you an indicator. Because it's in 2005. My car is 2000. How much does your car retail for? Seven. Huh? Seven. Retail. 
Oh, 30? 22. Huh. I guess... I guess the element didn't have it in him. Here we go. I did it. I lost your door. Right. I don't know. I just thought it needed to Are we getting a car washed now? Is it yours locked too? No, it's unlocked. Alright, it's locked. locked. I locked it. What just happened, Mickey? Are we getting car washed now? Wait, did someone car wash? Oh my god! Mickey, you we paid for a car wash! I just noticed. Make a you just made for car wash. I didn't, I didn't look at the 9,000 bits. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're gonna go and get a car wash now. Oh god, hold on. Don't start yet. We do have ice cream and a turkey in here. And That's true, but we can always freeze it. Talk about failing hard over here. Okay, we're good. All right, folks, we did it. We're gonna get a car wash. Is everything sealed? <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, I'll get you on that one. Let's go and see how we can pay for this. Is it go for a card? Yep. Nice. Okay, give me one second, chat. I'm gonna put you guys over here. Stare at this wall. Maybe you're gonna see a reflection, aren't you? Yes, yeah, because Santa We can put that down and then we'll see reflection. There we go. Give me a second chat. Was it U turn you said? Huh? U turn? U turn? Is that who did it? Make a Yui. Make a Yui. Make a Yui, thank you. Thank you, Make a Yui. Um, we got a nine dollars with gas, with eight gallons of gas, or without. You got deluxe. Oh, you can get two pass pre-soak. Let's do the works. The works. He did a dollar. He did a dollar too. The works. Purchase is being authorized. You want a receipt? No. Press wash available. Roll it Roll it down. Hold on. Hold on. Did you do the works? Yeah. It's the works? Hold on, let's show the chat real quick. Before they go start. Don't say it, don't say it. Oh, you betcha hondos. <laughs> oh, God. We got the works! What is happening? Undercarriage. Why is that thing so loud? I've never seen this car wash before. You usually keep moving, but they want you to move forward and stop. Keep moving forward, it says. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, stop, nice stop timing. Stop timing has now been done by Hondos. This is the first car wash that I've been in where it's something where we're gonna stand inside. It looks like they're gonna start the cleaning now on the right side, laser wash is now starting. Everybody, stay tuned. This is unbelievable. You betcha Hondos from Make a Yui. That's what I'm talking about, Make a Yui. So far the cleaning is beginning. Has it begun? Oh, it's right behind us. It's starting! It is now cleaning your car. Oh! There's the oh, soap. Soapies. It is the soapies coming through right now. Look at it. It's actually going around the car. It's got a 360 design to it. That's why it tells you to stop and it measures. What? No, don't open it! Don't open it! He actually tried to roll the window down on me. That would have been fantastic. Not really. All right, looks like the soap has now stopped. Okay, let's get a chance to see what's gonna happen next. I'm a little scared, actually. I've never done this before. I usually... You can't even read the sign anymore. They got all this soap all over There's it. soap all over it. It looks like it's still under cleaning. I can see through a little bit of the soap right now. It looks like the cleaning is happening again. It's actually doing a two pre-soak. That's the, that's the, uh, the works that you paid an extra dollar for. 
You get two layers of soap. You get one pink and one white. Oh, that's not pink. Hey, that's you. You lied. Where's the pink soap? There's no pink soap. Archie gets a car wash live on stream. That's what's happening right now, guys. Is this one of those spray washes or they are not good? Oh God, it's so loud! Oh, it's like one of those movies. Look at all the dirt. Ew! Ew! It kind of sounds like an alien alarm. I know, right? Look at this. This is how they get the sound effects from movies. They go to car washes and they steal the sound effects from that. You know how like you see like the alien ship go by? It goes like that huge like, why do I have a mask on? I have a mask on this entire polishing. time. It's polishing right now, folks. We have currently are now, now done. Now we're polishing. Everything is blue. Ew, we just killed an avatar. That was not supposed to happen. Oh, it looks like it's now been currently, currently washed inside of the vehicle. Ooh. A lot of throw up. Look at all that dirt. This is looking nice, Hondos. Does it clean the car too inside? No. No, it doesn't clean the car inside. Oh, look at that nice little rinse off. That uh, rinse off action. Ooh, that was the polish. That was the polish. Next up is a surface and protectant. Oh, here is the sealer. Oh, that would completely destroy our clothing. If we okay. took that sealer, yeah, that would basically completely seal all stains in. Hmm. Be great. So, uh, spot free rinse is next, and then air drying. Oh my God! Look at that spot free rinse. You know, this is the this is a car wash that doesn't have the the, the, the things that rub rub your car. The, the yeah. Thing. yeah, this isn't the type of car wash that like has the bristles on there and keeps doing that all day. I think they call these touch free. This is a touch free car wash, I think. Is that what it said? Air drying. It does say touch free. Air dry. Are you moving? Yeah. Why are you moving? Because the things right here to push all the air dry and shit off. So oh. the water off. Let's wait for it. Where's the air dry? Once you see this move, stand still. Yep, stand still. It's gonna do its thing. Yeah, you can keep going. Keep moving a little. Is it, don't, don't move forward. Oh, no, yeah, I move forward. It says not to. Oh, it does say move forward. Whoa, yeah, stop right here. Just enjoy that. Let's get some of that airflow. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, you went too fast. The air dry did not completely dry the car. Looks like Hondo's. It's got to do a lot of paper towels. Thanks to this incredible speed. Did you just use your windshield yeah. water? There's dirt right there. Oh, there's dirt right there. What a great car wash. Well, hey, thank you guys so much for the car wash. I appreciate thank you that. very much. Thank you so much, Mickey Yui. That was awesome. It's like Star Wars. That was an experience of a lifetime being inside. You guys want to go outside and check out the car? I'm just kidding. We're going to go figure it out when we get back to your place. What? Uh, how, how, how clean it made it. And it does feel like your tires are not making that squeaky sound like I did when I actually turned to the left and right. It was like... Rrrr. I did not notice any squeaky sounds. All right. You don't want the bristles. They just get super cruddy and mess up your paint. Ooh. Ooh I didn't know that from Gigawatts. Yeah. <clears throat> We gotta take a look from Mika Yui. He's super right about that. We're gonna get a chance to see how much did this actual touch free car wash do. There's the touch free car wash. Uh, somehow the light is flickering over there, making me question this contraption. Making me question this contraption over here. Yeah. Oh, it's a beacon. Oh, wow. What happened? It's the way that truck overcame that car in the middle of the. Do you see how many freaking one of those limes are all over the place? Yeah. There's like limes all over there. Why did they just park it there? There's, lime. there's like tons there's of like there's like birds. a million birds everywhere. There's a line. I understand. They're faster here than they are in DC too. They're faster here? Almost twice as fast. Yeah, you mean you can go up to like 20 miles per hour? Yep. That doesn't sound safe. But it's fun. 
I mean, this is a 35 mile per hour zone, and once it's a good 20. Doesn't it feel like a car got to revive? It feels, uh, it feels like we can see more. I can actually, like. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It feels refreshing, doesn't it? Thanks, Mickey Yui. Yeah, thank you, Mickey. It made this whole experience like a lot more open. Like I can see all the windows, and now we can actually showcase you guys like the window in front, like how it looks like to be like, in the middle of this driving escapade with this truck on our left. It's intense. Does it feel HD now? It does actually. I was actually thinking about that. It does look pretty HD. Red Arrow from the 95th Screw Squadron sending out a uh, big uh, five head out there. I think. Red Arrow, did you play against Summit at all? Oh, yeah, Red Arrow, did you get a chance to see Summit 1G is currently playing right now on Planetside 2. Did you get a chance to play against them? He's currently on Emerald server, though, and you're currently on Co Cobalt. Oh, so I'm not no. sure you would be playing him. But he still can make it, make it a character and join him. That's what, that's what Summit did. Guys, did you wash your hands? Yes, I did. We did wash our hands. We went to a restaurant. We had a good time. Thank you so much, Momon Jun. Love you. Mm -hmm. Just got a car wash. We got all the actual ingredients, guys, in the back. Look at all that Thanksgiving ingredients. So we're going to show you guys everything we bought and express to you guys what all the ingredients are going to do. And I'm just going to practically just shoutcast it. <laughs> I don't really know what else I could do other than be like, we've got pineapple juice. Or what is it? Cider? Pineapple cider. Yeah. I watched a great Led Zeppelin uh, documentary and they're not even mentioning it. Weird. Holy crap. Holy crap. Huh. I don't know, that person was a little close. She didn't look like she was ready to stay in her lane. She was like, I want to go left. I want to go into your lane. I would have taken it. You would have taken it? Oh yeah. But that's where I'm at. Yeah, but she would have hit me. And I would have been on the side of the place where she would hit you would have gotten hurt. She wasn't going that fast. Fantastic. It looks like we're going to take it live on stream. It'd be content, RC. That's very true. And I'd live stream the whole thing because this RGMP video camera can be used up on the court. Isn't mm -hmm. that nice? Yeah, it is. We've it's got, convenient. We've got the ability to go record people and be like, hey, got you record. You got a personalized video camera for your car. Ooh. Why is my voice doing that? Oh, Mr. Ingram, it's good to see you, buddy. How was Nola? Hey, what's up, V-Man? You guys in Texas should come swing by. Dude, V-Man, you actually live out here? I'm gonna be here for the next two days. If you are genuinely out here, let me know, man. I'd love to come visit and say what's up to you, man. Careful, Texas is huge. Texas is huge, you are super right. Where in Texas are you from, Mr. V-Man? I was in Houston yesterday, and now we are in Austin. We're in Austin, Texas. Yes, Austin. This is so sick. Vman SF was one of the first people that I got, uh, I had a chance to meet during my first stream. Nice. Yeah, he's been here since. It's really cool. Helped carry me on Planetside Arena. Your first stream was Planetside? Planetside Arena. That game's dead now. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly it. But my first stream was a Planetside game. When but did that game stop being a game? It was released within the year, and it was ended in the year, same year. It was a game that was supposedly a um, build upon for Planetside 3. They were trying to get this game to come out as a battle battle royale for Planetside. Uh -huh. And the Planetside community did not like it one bit. Uh -huh. They got together, did the whole Planetside conversion technique, bringing all the platoon members, and then the, making negative reviews on it. Bringing the review base down to one, oh, wow. and destroying the game's reviews to the point where every person who streamed it, they talked smack on every streamer playing it, and really made sure that the company knew that they should never have done that ever again. Sadly, that was a very sad day. Did you I, like the game? I really enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it probably because I did not play games for five years. Coming back to any game at that point would have been fun, but I really enjoyed the community that played the game with me. I mean, V-Man, SF, and I were basically playing together in a 12-man squad. It was legendary fun. Like, it's so different than all the Battle Royals I've been a part of. But it's not as epic as Apex or Fortnite or PUBG, like, as, like, complex that they have it. Uh -huh. It was super simple. 
Oh, oh Mr. Ingram, thank you so much for the gift to V Man SF. V Man is a part of the family now. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, Mr. Ingram. You didn't have to do that. Being able to play with everyone was, a, was the best part, for sure. Red Claw Codes, love you. Thanks for stopping by. That was really nice of you, by the way. That's what I'm talking about. It's like that's. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't get a chance. You know what's nice? Like, what's really nice? What? Oh, uh, yeah, so um, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we actually went to uh, your food recommendation. We had a chance to try out beginning of this VOD. If you ever see this VOD again, we went to um, Taco Deli. And I also went to Texas, um, the Texas place that you recommended. Yo, could you come down here and uh, give us a hand carrying the groceries up? Yeah. Well, are you at Taco Deli? We hand carrying up just groceries? had Taco Deli. That's yeah. amazing. Thanks, man. <laughs> V-Man SF saying I'm an excellent leader. Dude, V-Man, I really didn't do much. All I did was just use my voice changers and just made it more epic for everybody, and I just pointed you monsters. I'm talking about monster shooters in the right place. All you needed is a freaking uh, a goat herder and just hurting everybody into one spot and you guys would click heads all day. That's all I had to do is make sure you guys were in the same spot. That's it. A person that really shined through people's strengths and made people known that he cares for people's opinions. Oh yeah, my great leader. <laughs> Thanks, man. Or Coopers. Or yeah, Coopers. You haven't been to Coopers. Oh, I haven't been to Coopers yet. So I did Terry Black's and I did uh, Terry Black's yesterday. I have all the photos. I'm going to post them on Instagram. They're really high quality photos, super juicy. I really enjoyed the brisket. Sadly, I didn't get a barbecue because they didn't have it available. And then, um, yeah, we're going to do the Coopers tomorrow, and then we're going to do Thanksgiving next day. It was extremely good. I think the Taco Deli was my favorite. Taco Deli was really good. Have you guys had some good Texas barbecue yet? V-Man, dude, can you send me a DM on Discord? Honestly, I want to know if you are really here. If you're really here, let's talk on Discord. I'm Ethan! not joking. Ethan! He's live on stream right now. Ethan, how you doing, buddy? Hey! Super excited. We're going to be showcasing. We got a lot of stuff, Ethan. It's in the back. All right. We're going to go and actually try to gather all the materials here. We got so much stuff. All right. I'm going to try to help these guys. So I'm not one of those guys that points and tells people what to do. Yeah, actually carry stuff. Ah, uh, you got big boy milk. So excited for big boy milk. I'm gonna put this on my shoulder, guys. You are now on my shoulder. No problem, no problem, no problem. All right, guys, here we go. Mr. Honda's is gonna give me some stuff so I can actually. You're in Houston, dude. I'm so down. I still can come say hi do if you want, you want the to. Turkey or do you want something a little lighter? I'll, I'll do whatever you need. Whatever you need. If it's easy for me to carry, I can do it with this left hand's lighter. Is this lighter or heavier? Yeah, lighter. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can do this. I got this. You want me to take it? I got it. We'll just have to come back down. Alright. We'll come right back. Yeah, we're Alright. You gonna leave the door open? Yeah. Oh my god! Alright guys, so we're gonna try to get to this place. Oh. Wish me luck. Ugh. Well, now I had a motorcycle on the back of that thing and I left the whole trunk down. Wow. Alright. We can do this. Chat. We can do this. All right. Oh, the kitty cat and Freaky, Freaky. Hi, Frank. You can see. Yeah. How are these guys? So there's waters, but those go into his van. Um, I'll handle that. And then uh, I have the rest. Actually, if he grabs the stuff for his van, I got the stuff in the house. This is for my van. I just brought it. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's right, man. Wait, oh. wait. Want to go tie break? Come on, let's go. He's so excited, Frank. Come on. He's so excited, Frank. Come on, let's go. 
I guess I'll leave this right here. I'll put in the filling van later. All right. What happened to the RV? What? You have the RV keys? No, no, no we're going to do it later. Okay. We're just going to bring it upstairs. I'll handle the RV stuff later. The RV is in a parking spot for the next three days. This shit in Florida. No, no, no. Still have it. Should have left it at Tin the Tap Man's house. That would have been content. Huh. Look at the pumpkins, guys. They're wearing masks. That's so cute. Wait, Tin the Tap Man lives in Austin, Texas? What? Tin the Tap Man lives here? I don't know, Mr. Ingram. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Glasses. Oh yeah. Waters. I can carry the glasses up. Oops, Oops sorry. <laughs> you and Honda's sharing a bed? Aw. No, that's my bed. Honda's has his own bed. Um, we can just leave the waters in here. Uh, I can pick it up afterwards, yeah. Yeah. Because then you don't have to carry them up and down. Smart. Is that all that's left? Yep. Okay. You want to close that one? Is that door locked? Yep. Is this door locked? That one's locked too. Come we on, Frank. did it. Come on, Frank. Frank, let's go. Come on. Frank. Good boy. Come on. Where's Frankie? He's right here. Oh. Mr. Frank. Oh, there's the doggy. There's the doggy. Hi! Frank is so excited. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. There's Frankie. Look at the doggies, they're so excited for each other. Frankie, He's like, I made a new friend! <laughs> so cute. He's so cute. What's the name of your dog? Mocha. It's Mocha! Frankie? Yeah, it's Frank. Frank. Frank and Mocha. He's seven. Oh my god, that's why they like each other. Like, I know he's the same age. <laughs> it's so cute. Have a good one. Thank you. That's really cool. Since the Tan Man has a house in New York and Florida, he's currently living in Destin, Florida. I didn't know that. That dog did not have a mask. So that's what chat said. <laughs> Holy Frank! You didn't talk to a friend that had a mask on. How do dogs have masks? Can they even do that? I don't think dogs can get it. No? Chad, do you guys know if dogs can get COVID? I'd be curious. Alright. What's up, Christina Fitzgerald? One of the adopted affiliate family members here. Oh. There you go. Uh, is there anything on the countertop I need to worry about? Tell me. Maybe. Great. Um, yeah, now you look over, and I will put this. This is a logo. Um, I'm gonna point it at me real quick, guys. Give Honda's a chance to look over anything. I can. The I Red do. Knight has subbed for six Red months. Red Knight has just subscribed. Six months, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Six months coming from Red Knight. Thank you so much, Coffee Corp, for the follow. Corpse. Coffee Corpse. That's an interesting name. I'm going to show. Look at this cutie. You are this cutie. Who are you, cute? Yes, you are. Wow, Frankie! What are you going for? Are you going for your toy? Frankie's going for his toy. Look at Frank. He's just trying so hard to get his toy to showcase. He wants to show his toy. What? How many toys are you going to grab, Frank? Frank, how many toys are you going to grab? What's going on? Frank, you want to show the world your toys? Frank, come back. Frank! Oh my god, he's so excited to show Chad his toy. What is this toy? What is this toy? Frankie, Frankie. What's going on? What's going on? Frankie, 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 sit. 
I thought you know how to sit. Sit. That's the, the only skill you have. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's going up. Oh, Ricky. Sorry, I'm a little too excited. <laughs> also, I was going to get... Oh! I didn't know that, Red Arrow. Fantastic. Let's go wash our hands. Sorry about that, Frank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyone in the bathroom? Yeah. Oh! We don't want to get this uh, band like Dr. Disrespect, so we want to be careful about this one. We've got... Uh... Mr... Hondo's enjoying the bathroom right now, live on stream. Well, that was one. <laughs> that was one for you, and then he got one for himself. Interesting. I think Archie's more excited to play the dog. <laughs> but look at he's super excited. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're so excited. You're so excited. Yes, you are. He's like, I want to show you my toy. I really want to show you my toy. But you walked away because you were just supposed to wash your hands. Yes. I'm supposed to walk, wash my hands. Wash my hands. Oh, I want this toy. I want the toy. I want the toy. I want the toy. Toy mine. My toy. My toy. That was pretty interesting. I think he's done. There's the kitty. Meow. Oi. Oi. Want to say hi to chat? Say meow. Say meow. Meow. Yushka. That guy really likes getting pet in the head. I'm going wait for Mr. Hondos. Mr. Hondos. What? I'm just gonna wash my hands, is that okay? Yeah, fine. Okay, just make sure you don't come out of the bathroom because that mirror is gonna reflect everything. Make sure you got everything on you. Let's go wash your hands. Ah, oh. oh, that's so good. When you're wearing a mask for so long, you gotta wash your face. That's just like how I always feel. I'm gonna go use my towel real quick. Thank you, it's good to see you. Look at this guy. So, um, Orange Something is right here. I forgot the name already. Hi. This guy right here really likes it. And I mean really likes it when I pet his head. Like he's all about head scratching. Like he just wants to head scratch so much. And Frankie gets so excited when I shout cast his doll. He's like, I really wanna play! I really wanna play, Archie. You nobody plays with me. You don't understand. I just wanna play. I just wanna play so bad. Got your other toy though. Frankie, I got your other toy. What do you think you do? Look at the toy. Go get the toy. You don't want to get that toy? That that didn't that didn't work at all. Chat that didn't work. All right. I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients when Hondo gets back, so we can actually show you all the food items that we got. But this dog literally doesn't want to stop. Just wants to ow. Okay. Ow. Okay. We're good. Oh my god. We're not good. Okay. Frankie is okay. Frankie. 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 I'm on a live stream right now. I'm trying to cover the world, telling the world what's going on. That's your toy. You can't. No. 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 You're not gonna get No. Thank you so much, Doug, for the follow. I appreciate it. Good TV. Wow, you're in Austin. You must have driven through Waco on uh, the I-35. I have driven through almost so much, I can't even describe it. I went from Texas, well first of all I came from California to Austin, Texas, from Austin, Texas, went to Tennessee, and then to um, 
uh, New York. From New York, went to New Jersey, Washington, D.C., then down to, from, Was from Washington, D.C. to Florida, Orlando, and then through Pensacola to New Orleans. God, this guy's so powerful. Oh, God. He, he won. He wins. He wins. Frankie wins. Frankie wins. Hey, Texas T. That's what I'm talking about, Texas T. V-Man, what's your, uh... <gasps> this guy wants your bet. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Joe, what's up, buddy? You did not Joe have Joe Cyphus has just subscribed. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for being part of the family. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. How have you been, man? Oh, there's a kitty. There's a kitty. Just wanted to get pet in your face. Yes, you do. Come here. Come here. You know you love the head scratches. This cat bothered me all last night for head scratches. Just wouldn't stop. This was literally all over me. He was just like, oh, she. Oh, she. Oh, yes. You have no idea. It's been years since my owner, Hondos, has given me a head scratch. He doesn't give me enough attention, Archie. You don't understand. Every day, I spend hours looking through the door, hoping I will get the head scratch of a century. But, oh, there's Hondos. Hey, how's up, buddy? How you doing? I pooped. Oh, God, he pooped live on stream. I should Oh, so excited. Somebody's really excited over here. He's like, it's our nose! It's our nose! It's our nose! It's our nose! I'm so excited! My, my owner's back! I've waited so long for my owner! What's up, buddy? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I swear I did not have anything at all. I'm just very excited to shoutcast these cats and dogs. Yeah, that's Gucci. <laughs> What's up, Freak Central? It's good to see you. Red Claws. Damn, I miss you in Tennessee. I live in Memphis. Damn, I've been up there. He's not sorry. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, he's not sorry. This is what this guy does. Hey, uh, Hondo. I'm changing my shirt. Right he's first. changing his shirt. Uh, oh, snap. You guys are in Austin. Cheers from San Antonio. Joe, you're in San Antonio, dude. I'm going to be standing by, uh, stopping by, uh, or stopping through, or maybe I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to be going through. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, damn. This man was in Tennessee. Dude, I was everywhere, guys. I went from California to Texas all the way across New York. We are world uh, U.S. travelers over here. <laughs> We're in the uh, United States of Texas. The United States of Texas, and I'm about to throw up from spinning around circles all day. Hey, um, do you want to throw those away? What? This stuff. I just realized they're right in front of me. Um, yeah, just put that in your room. Yeah, they have your stuff on it on the sides. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can tear it and move it in there. And just put it in your room. Here we go. I can do it. Right. I got it. Hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> We're trying to prevent any... Uh, Doxing of Mr. Hondo's apartment. Let's put this in his room for temporary use. So that way we can actually come back to it later and throw it away. Alright. Let's see if there's anything else that can be used to dox him. <clears throat> I think he's good on everything. Oh, you have an iPhone watch. Yeah. Alright, the same. So far, everything looks good, except for that. Looks like it's a doxing moment. It's a lot of stuff. Looks like we're good as far as this content's concerned. Nothing else I can think of. I see bump. Um, how about up here? Anything up here I need to worry about? Uh, I'm gonna hide the serial code. And I think we're good. I think I think I think I start spraying and praying of your apartment. I start showcasing inside. What about the refrigerator? There's always something on the refrigerator that's not good to show. This one, probably not. I hide this thing. That's a strong magnet. It's a very strong magnet. Let's put it out of here. That works too. I think we're good, right? 
There we go. Almost done. Almost garbage. I think we're good, guys. Sorry, chat. Give me just a second. I'm looking for anything else I can dox Mr. Hondos. This is what happens when you try to do an IRL stream in the house. You always have to check for everything. Roasted garlic recipes. Everything's okay recipe-wise. I think we're good. Yeah. Can I show them who you are? Yeah. And what you're doing? All right, guys. He's currently wearing a Planet Earth shirt 2020. Um, okay, so let's see now what's going on. Uh, so chat says, is this Hondo's place? Correct, this is Hondo's place. Let me know, my house is your house. Thank you so much, Joe, I appreciate that. You're super nice. Imagine a Six Flags stream. You know, if I actually did that uh, on a ride at Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, and we kept cutting out, and all you can see in the middle of the Disneyland ride was going to the BRB screen, which shows you clips, and then coming back to me screaming the entire stream, basically. I was just like, ah! and then it just cut to be right back because we went through a tunnel and ah! then it went back to be right back. Showed you more clips and ah! it was just more and more of like, it was, I guess it's, it is kind of funny if you think about it, but it didn't show you the whole ride. It just showed me screaming 90% of it. Oh, me not, uh, H-E mom, how you doing? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Your, uh, your son has been super hospi uh, hospitable. Super hospitable. This man right here. And he's making faces at whatever that is. I think that is all expired. It's definitely past uh, September 20th. Yep. Wait, September 20th. All right. Um, anyone else catch that address? Thanks, Mr. Ingram. You're a strong magnet. <laughs> uh, or does Hondo continue with you? Does that mean this is where Hondo gets dropped off? Yes, there's a small chance, when I say small, Mr. Hondo's will probably be dropped off here. But we're going to see if we can get his roommate. His roommate might accept another opportunity for Hondo's to continue the adventure to the west. To go and show the world what Hondo's element can do to the west side story. Do you want to say a west side story to everybody? I Can't know, stand above young lives living in the... Ki what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm making it up. <laughs> That's not west side. I'm making it He's getting summoned. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, Crafts Brew Chris, what's up, buddy? Arch TV, can I get a Honda's address? I'm going to send him a bag of candy. Kappa. Yeah. Um, he's going to send you some amazing stuff. Craft Brew Chris, do you know Crafts Brew Chris? Yeah, Chris is actually someone who I would let you give my address to. Do you really want it? To, he wants to send you these stuff. You want to read it? Do you want your coffee anymore? Yes, I do not right now. That's <laughs> actually... No. Pour it out? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to put a new pour of coffee in a second here. But not that coffee. But do you want to read what he said? Craft Brew Chris wants to know your address so he can send you a couple of con candy... Dogs. Is that a typo? Candy dogs? I think dogs. I think he meant dogs, for sure. He'll be okay with it. Look at that. He's super excited. Kappa? I wouldn't mind. I like gummies. Yeah, he loves gummies. Hi! Come up here. Yes, you are. This kitty is still cute. It wants to get head scratches. Anytime he gets a possibility from Arshi, he's like, I will get as many head scratches as possible from Arshi TV. You know what? I'm only getting a limited of it, and I will take advantage of every minute of this man, because he does the best. I mean, I actually, these fingers actually gave a massage to Andy Milanakis, and this cat knows the technique. He knows that I've got every single ability to make this kitty excited. I never had a cat jump on me before. This is really a first, to be honest. It's like, oh, yes. And watch, now the cat's going to get mad at me because I'm not following it. And Frank is like, Dad! Dad! That is you, man. Dad! Do! Oh, oh, look at that cat. He's really wanting the hand. I'm going to just keep scratching my, my leg here. The cat's like, damn, I really need that neck scratched. I'm making a debate over here. It's a big jump. It's a big opportunity for me, though. Oh, shit, we have a ton of paper towels. Oh, oh sorry. we had so many paper towels. No, don't worry. We had so many paper towels. Unbelievable. Let's see what uh, what anybody else is saying. Show the cat and the dog. Oh, my God, those are the emotes of your cat and your dog. I don't have a cat one. What? Then what's this cat one? What your mom put up. That's just a torch one. That's awesome. It's your cat. It's our cat. It looks like your cat. Did you just show your cute? <clears throat> it literally looks like your cat. Anyone else getting dizzy? You guys are getting dizzy from me spinning on the chair? I'm so sorry. My, my bad, Mr. Ingram. 
Uh, I personally want to try those gummies from the Long Long Man commercials. Interesting free commercial. Not central. I didn't know those were actually good. Jules! Isn't it Julius or Jules? Jules, Julius. His name is Julius, but Jules is like short. This is Jules, guys, right here. Jules is for short, but Julius is so cute. Julius is like, I really want a head scratch. Or she, I really want a head scratch. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll take it all day. Oh, but it looks like it's leaving because Frankie wants a head scratch. Frankie's now taking over. I was like, I want this. Oh, did you want to go down? You want to go down. He wants water. We're going to give him new water. This is not good enough for a Frankie. We're going to give Frankie better water. And just give Frankie more. Here, you can take that. Frankie will take that? No, this. Oh, got it. Did you put all the stuff away? Yeah. No! I wanted to show everybody everything. Okay, guys. Looks like he's already stored away a lot of it. But let's go ahead and just show you guys what we've got. We've got here... We've got Grand's Original Flaky Layers. Eight big biscuits. We're going to have a total of 16 biscuits tomorrow. we got pineapple cider. Pineapple cider is going to be used. It's an alcoholic beverage of 5% Austin's East Ciders. This is going to be used to baste. Is it baste? No, let's uh, save some stuff for the stream tomorrow. We're oh! Give all the secrets away. Oh! Oh, God! You're right. Tomorrow? Yeah, that's going to be brined tomorrow. Oh, brined. Uh, it's not getting cooked tomorrow, but it's got to be brined tomorrow. You sit in brine overnight at least. Oh. You, you generally want to do one hour per pound. Guys, we have a lot of ingredients, so we'll actually show you guys all that tomorrow then. You can go over the ingredients, but you don't got to say what they're for. Oh, got it. Okay, so let's just show you all the ingredients. I'll just say the names of everyone. All right, so we got some large latex gloves. I really don't know what it's used for, but Hondo told me that he has to have it for, for the stream. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Thanks, Honda. I'm going to put that in here. Yep. Um, here. All right, so we've got some macaronis. Not used, Not really sure what this is going to be used for. Uh, but you can see from Father to Son from 1866 was held by De Sissio. De Sissio, 1866. Frisili. Slow dried. For superior quality pasta. Fantastic. I'm going to put it upstairs. we got two of those packages. I'm gonna go show you the next one. We got some gold cheddar. Did you buy this? Yeah. You bought this? Oh yeah. You ninja it. It was in the giant metal container when I brought it. I was about to say, is this part of Thanksgiving? Yep. Golden cheddar. Really? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be a very interesting Thanksgiving I've never had before in my entire life. We've got stovetop for the turkey stuffing mix. Ready in five minutes. That's what cooking's all about. Five minute cooking recipes. Look at that, easy turkey pot pie. Good to go. We're gonna have to put these in the refrigerator. We got chicken broth. Never mind. This one's gonna be up here. Chicken broth from Heb. And then this one right here, rosemary. Oh, you can't go wrong with rosemary. Look inside. Fantastic, fresh rosemary. Doesn't have any spots on it. It's usually how it looks like when it's, up the, when it's outside. This thing right here, you'll have no clue what this is until tomorrow. Even I was very shocked about it, but he's going to use this as something for tomorrow. Let's we'll see if Chad can figure that out. We also got some quilted napkins. Because we thought we didn't have any toilet paper. I mean, paper towels. Paper towels. We had a lot. Ethan bought some of those. We have a lot. So I guess this was not really meant to be used. But we can still use this, though. Looks nice to have napkins on the floor. Let's see what the chat just said. Chat just went through and said, Damn, I realized too mad went to New York one week after you, therefore he stole your content. Who's too mad? Who's too mad a person? I don't know who that is. I don't know who too mad is, but he stole my content. How could he do that? It's Frankie's house now. Turkey. Pineapple brine. What about the dressing? Smack the meat! Uh, the new FS said smack the meat. I'm not sure why, but we're going to smack the meat just for the stream. You're going to do that for free, dude? Well, am I supposed to do it? Is that supposed to be a thing? Dude, yeah, charge them. I just, I didn't know that. I didn't you're, know you're smacking streamer, the meat. Dude, don't do nothing is that, for free. Is that really it? Don't do anything That's for a, Okay, free. guys, I'm a new streamer. I'm not really used to this. So I guess I have to 
wait until something happens. You guys want some? You got paid for it. That's what Hondo said. He's my manager right now, explaining to me all the finites of streaming. He actually showcases what this man does. He keeps showing me all the different experiences. What? Oh my God! What is he doing with his tongue? What is he doing with his tongue? That was pretty weird. Um, Mama's favorite briskets. Oh, look at that. Mama's excited. Always brine him a turkey. You should know that, Archie Poo. Yeah, Danny Stewart. I should know that. <laughs> Make a Yui says, really, the alcohol helps absorb into the tissues. Oh, I didn't know that. The gloves are for the after party, Kappa, from the Red Arrow 95th Screw Squadron. I, you know, just... I start feeling like I'm part of the 95th every time I hear him talk. <laughs> <laughs> Goldfish are good as hell. I really don't know what it's used for. It's so simplistic, but the molecular, it can pass through your stomach liner or the turkey. Whoa. Rosemary. It's got a pog face. Uh, probably going to make cocktail sausages for Thanksgiving. Oh, it looks like Freak Central's getting close. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. The new FS. We're going to have five people here for Thanksgiving. Zaya the Sign, which is an adopted affiliate, uh, also a family member of ours. We got Hondo's Element over there who's going to be doing a majority of the work while I'm going to be just casting him and looking at him and making it look more intense than it really is. And uh, this is all going to happen tomorrow and the next day. Thanksgiving actual day is on the 26th. We will start the stream to go pick up the other side from the airport and then come straight back here to enjoying all the cooking necessities with Hondo's Island. He'll be cooking before he gets here. So then I'll probably ask him to get an Uber then. Might be better. You know what I mean? So I'll probably ask him to get an Uber, and if he's okay with that, no, I'll, pay, I'll pay for the Uber or something. I don't know. I don't want to know is what Nicky Yui said. It's a turkey brat. I lost, and he's got three faces that are making a very juicy face. Shoutcast the Thanksgiving. <laughs> the new FS. The new FS wants me to shoutcast the Thanksgiving. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> I feel like that's just natural to you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I could not. I could just, just point at things and keep it basic. What do you would think? You, how would you, would you shout cast your Thanksgiving at your parents? Maybe no. <laughs> I don't really know if I'd do that. I'd, uh, my parents would cast, outcast me. They would be outshining me in every way. All they would do is constantly say ridiculous things on stream. And I'd be sitting there, like, shaking my head. Oh, my... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. That's not supposed to be... Oh... Like, the whole time. You know my dad. How quickly he would be like, Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh! Thank you so much, Doug! Bryce Tuffler. Uh, I'm just gonna say Doug. Doug, thank you so much for the 10 bits. I appreciate it. He's just throw out a bunch of pod champs. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I wish he could... I wish he was cooking for me. You're lucky. He's a great cook. Ah, uh, you know he said that. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes, you do. One day. One day he will. When he becomes a Twitch partner. What do you think? No. No, <laughs> it didn't happen. I was trying to get him to say yes to that. That oh, didn't actually it happen. for my mom before I become a Twitch partner. Oh, you're so sweet. Unless if that means, like, still 10 years from now. We don't really know what that means. But we're just going to be excited for that comment. Hang on, hang on. Uh, there's, like, still stuff on there, uh, so you got to pay attention. I didn't notice that. I thought you said it cleans. It's supposed to clean. Yeah, that's very this true. This one didn't come out clean. Oh, God. Looks like we're going to have to watch how Hondo's handles um, his dishware. He's doing a fantastic job, though, checking every single tool to make sure it has been fully cleaned. Because Ethan loaded the dishwasher. Do we want to go say hi to Ethan? He's in the shower. Oh, that's not a good timing to go, go say hi it. to Ethan. Yeah, go for it. All right, let's do it. We're going to go say hi to... Ethan's gonna be screaming at me. I've never heard Ethan scream. Never? Never. Do you wanna make it a first? You can try. I'm kidding, no. I think you guys give each other enough space. Do you wanna to explain to everybody why all metal? Uh. Like, guys, look at this. They're free? Look at that. Oh, For the they're most free. part? But what, there was something else that you explained. That was actually spot on. I'm just used to it. I guess I like it. You said something about metal, basically, but the whole taste of it. it tastes uh, better. I don't. Remember. You said like having metal with the, like a, uh, a soda is so much better than having it with plastic or in another cup. I don't really drink soda at home. No. What was the person? Was it was it you that said? Maybe not. It wasn't you then. It sounds like it. I remember somebody talked about metal. I wonder what it was about. It could have been 
have been somebody like from. DS no, it was probably Guttel Steve. DS Cooper did not say that. Hmm. Maybe Guttel Steve said that. Metal is BPA free, making it, it healthy. Nice. The doggy is eating right now. Good doggy. So, something that is very unique to me right now, guys, if you guys own pets, Hondo over here gives these dogs and cats, or dog and cat, Frankie and Julius, all the food they can eat. Literally gives them anything. If that bowl is empty, fills it up to the top. This bowl is empty, fills it up to the top. Honestly, I've never seen that before in my life. My other dog, that is God rest in peace, um, would have killed himself. Would have overate, would have like gone into comatose, just pretty much TK'd out himself the first day I would fill up his bowl. Frank won't eat unless somebody's home. Really? Like, and in the same room as him. Really? Yeah. So he gets that nervous? I don't know if it's a nervous thing, but it's just a weirdo. Mmm. Uh, they are great and keep drinks cold for a long time. That makes sense. I do agree. I think metal basically keeps uh, your drinks cold. So why do, you, why do you have a lot of Yeti stuff? Because I did product trades with them from when I worked at Traeger and then I worked for Yeti after that. Ooh. And Yeti has nothing to do with the microphone. With, no. Interesting. Here is... That company is called Blue. That company is called Yeti Blue is Yeti. Ah, oh, makes sense. I didn't know that. Blue. What time do you think you want to start the stream for the Thanksgiving stream? I don't know. I gotta sit down and figure that out later. All right, we're gonna figure that one out, guys. We're gonna basically give you guys a chance to be able to know what the Thanksgiving stream is gonna be all about. If you guys follow us and have your alerts on, you'll be notified as soon as we go live. That's actually a good idea. I actually forgot to talk about that. There's a bell icon you guys can click on, and you'll be able to know when we go live to the Thanksgiving stream. And I'll go give you guys a chance to see what it looks like to cook a Thanksgiving meal from start to finish and how it looks presentation wise I've got some champagne I'm gonna pop them out with the glasses which are over there maybe they want to make sure that doesn't get destroyed I totally forgot about that oh my god <laughs> this is Hondo's house correct the plastic tub is to brine the turkey in duh Scaramanga look at that coming in being super OP about that I love that Scar. Maybe dog will eat it. Oh, what would the dog eat? What are you, you going to eat, Frank? Frank, what are you, you going to eat? Frank, you want to talk to me? Talk to me, Frank. What are you doing, Frank? Frank? Frank, what's going on? Are you camera shy, Frank? Frank, continue eating. It's okay. Nobody's watching. What's going on, Frank? Frank, tell me about your meal. Frank, are you, are you reading chat? Stop reading chat. Chat, no, don't talk to Frank. Frank, continue eating. You, you continue eating. You enjoy your meal. No, Frank, what are you doing? Downward dog? Why are you doing a downward dog right now? Upward dog? Look at that! Unbelievable. Frank, you don't eat anymore? Frank, what are you doing? Frank, what is going on? Frank, eat! You don't want to eat anymore? I got too, too excited. He keeps trying to read chat. Why is he constantly trying to read chat? What are you doing? Frank, what's going on? No, it looks like Frank doesn't want to eat his food anymore. It's a lot of food. Yeah, that was a lot of food. Eating cat food. No, the dog food is on the floor, the cat food is on the top. You'll see the bigger food is the cat food, the smaller food is the dog food. Did I say dog food twice? I meant to say cat food, dog food. Yeah. Well, this has been fun. Uh, Mr. Hondos, you're going to go look through the entire list. And uh, you're going to confirm the entire list, right? Pardon me? You're going to confirm the entire list tonight? Uh, what? Uh, for the ingredients. Well, we have all the ingredients. Nice. I mean, confirming the timing for cooking. Yeah. I'm going to make a little, like, chart, I guess, as mm -hmm. to when everything should be. Going on and cooking and all that. Nice. Is there anything I can do to support? Uh, not that I can think of. Not today. 
Nice. That means I can do something the next day. All right. I'm playing Pokemon right now. I don't know what Miss Kiff is doing right now. $30,000 legendary collection box opening today. He already finished that, now he's playing Pokemon. Maybe he got a refresh. Yeah. <clears throat> he is just playing Pokemon. Yeah. Nuzlocke. Hmm? He's doing a Nuzlocke. That's a Nuzlocke. Where, like, you can only have six Pokemon total, and, like, in order to get a, like, and, and if a Pokemon, like, fully dies, He's dead forever. You have to like let him go after that. Um, like the leader. Yeah. Forgot what else are the other like rules. Hmm. But that's a Mizlock. That's his own rules. Mizlock. He had a different one that he was. Calling it says M I Z lock. Oh, Nuzlock, but an exclamation mark, Mizlock. He has both of them. Yeah, yeah. Miz, so if you do the exclamation mark, point Mizlock, it probably shows you, like, what his exact rules are he's playing with right now. Oh, damn, Miss, Miss Kiff got crap cards at his back. That sucks. Rain Q, what's up, girl? Bent cards? Yeah, I think he got some crappy cards. Oh, crap cards. Yeah, Arshi, wake up. What do you think about Apple Watch? Should I get it? Hmm. Apple Watch. Let's see here. Why do you want an Apple Watch? That's the first question. Because I have an Apple Watch, and I thought I would use it. And I would say I did not probably get the most out of my Apple Watch. I would say that there was things in the Apple Watch that I thought I would use more. And what the heck just happened? Hit the Never mind, you just hit the lights, everything's fine. Uh, what would you use the, uh, your Apple Watch for? Because like, I thought I would actually go and check my heart rate more often by selecting the two buttons. I never pushed them ever since they even told, you, told us about that cool feature. Um, I, the most I use my watch for is honestly just to tell the time to do a shot, uh, a, a, a clock to tell me like one minute, two minutes, five minutes, like a, a little stopwatch to select sound hound to actually hear what the name of the song is, um, to do my exercise thing. There's like an exercise thing that you can use on it that actually records their sales are going, their sales going for black Friday. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know that. I just was trying to make sure, like, what would you use it for? Like, if you say that you're going to use it for X, Y, and Z, it might be worth it. Um, but how much does it go for? What do you have me asking? When I got mine, it was free from work. And really? I don't think I would buy one, to be honest. How does Apple Pay work on it? I actually have no clue how Apple Pay even works. Apple Pay only works if the place has Apple Pay. Yeah, there you go. Apple Pay only um, works. So the way it works is you would select your wallet on the watch, and then you just press the watch against the credit card tab thing. Oh, cool. So it works great if they use Apple Pay, but oh, there's uh, there's glasses in there. I know. Okay. But if the place doesn't use Apple Pay, then you're kind of SOL. Hmm. Miss Kip is the first person Hondos showed me on Twitch. Who do you think that is? I know. Ah, they get that. I like how whatever I say, you know exactly what it is. Uh, I would use it for my message. Uh, it's kind of nice reading iMessage on it. It sucks writing iMessages it on it. It sucks typing it. Yeah, you could read messages on it, but then you got to pull your phone out to finish the writing a message. And even if you do voice to text, it doesn't it come doesn't, out right. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't come out right. So voice if you text is garbage. It no one is should ever use it. very Long. bad. It is very bad. I 100% agree with Hondos on everything you said so far. Uh, I've done everything you just described. I tried doing voice to text for a client. It came out wrong. I had to call him immediately and apologize because it said things I did not want to say. It immediately sends it after you do voice to text too. It doesn't like, are you sure is that everything you want to send? Is this what you are okay with? No, it sends it and you're like, ah! and then like you got to call the person and apologize, unless if you don't care about what you say to people. Uh, I would use it for my messages. Yeah, I would use it to read messages. 
texting and call and heart rate. So texting to read, calling, I've done it where I picked up the phone and talked on my wrist. I stopped doing it. It's like your Dick Tracy. Yeah. I did it for a little bit and I just I stopped. It wasn't it wasn't great. I would have to stick this whole thing in my ear. The the speakers get pl- clogged up over time. I'm not sure how they get clogged up, but they do. And it becomes harder and harder to read. I recently got an iPhone 11. No way, RainQ. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, pr- I'm proud of you. Well done. You have a better iPhone than I do. I have the iPhone 10s Plus. 10x. 10 iPhone XS Plus. Can I get a link to Hondo's Twitch? Yes, it should be in the automatic message that comes up. If you scroll up, you'll see it says twitch.tv slash Hondo's Element. It will automatically come every five minutes. And uh, we give you a little synopsis from Stream Labs. I got it for my birthday. Dude, that is awesome. That's what I'm talking about, RainQ. What's up, Shazza Gaming? How you doing? We're excited to have all these fun people on, on, the, on the chat with me here today. Um, we're going to go and actually get everything situated. I'm going to go and pull out my laptop and get some couch co-op going on so I can play with Ethan and uh, Hondo if they're both interested. I am now 18, or I am 18. Now I turned 18 on October 27th. Congratulations. Happy belated birthday to you. Rain cute. Doing good. That's what I'm talking about, Chef. I'm happy you're doing good. I was gifted an Apple Series 2 Nick watch, oh, Nike watch, and love it. Nice. They, see, like, the Nike watches are good because you know you're using it for fitness. But the Apple watch, I have no idea what you're using it for. It's weird how to explain it. It's overpriced if you're using it for, like, a Nike watch design. Uh, it, it's just, like, you have to use it for stuff. I use it for, like, a stopwatch. I use it for um, trying to find out the name of the song quickly. And like, look at this. I just got a like an Instagram little pop up on my wristwatch. So then, like, this is Nate takes right now on my on my wristwatch, and he talks about Nate takes Michael Lightning, Curly Chris recently added their stories, and that's that's just a little pop up from Instagram that just happens on my watch. It's kind of cool, um, but yeah. That's Played Planet said two last night. I saw Shazag. I was gonna stop by, but I was so tired. It's kind of neat, right? Oh, look at that. Kind of cool, huh? Dude, that's how my face looks like right now. It's so dark. How about like this? Did you see the thing? Look at that. <laughs> he watches the stream with that thing. Did I see what thing? Uh, you saw the notification. Yeah, on my yeah. Rest watch. The Pretty cool, huh? Photo, yeah. Yeah, the Nate photo on that. Uh, if I make some circles, let's see how that looks like. I'm gonna make a couple circles, and people said they were getting dizzy, and I kind of enjoyed it, but it could be too much. I just did one circle and see how that looks like. Okay, so let's. What do you want to do? I'm gonna. Figure out <clears throat> turkey real quick. Ooh, turkey. So, do you want to tell us what kind of chef are you? Like, how did you become a chef? I'm not a chef. You're not a chef. Definitely. How does somebody become a chef? I don't know. You don't know. I'm not one. But I you guess. actually cook amazing stuff for people. You teach. You taught people. I, you created recipes for Traeger. You ran teams mm-hmm. of people. Um, you got paid to cook, mm-hmm. um, and you're not a chef. Nope. I know how to cook. I can cook, but I'm not a chef. At all. What is the definition of a chef? Um, I don't know, somebody who's probably like, like, Thanksgiving is one of the few things that I can cook well. There's... I mean, I can follow a recipe. I think that's really easy. It's like Legos, but with ingredients. So, a chef is somebody who doesn't go through ingredients. The chef does it on their own? A chef would know, like, to me, why. Or, like, good alternatives if you don't have something in that recipe that you can switch in and out. Couldn't you know? I mean, I know you can I basically think of alternative. No, but wouldn't you think of an alternative as you're, as you're cooking? You're like, this could have used something. You've mm-hmm. done that. Every time we ate food, you're like, this could use no, this. No, but I'm saying, like, let's say it specifically calls for canola oil. And mm-hmm. I don't have canola oil. But I have six other different kinds of oil. I wouldn't know what's the best alternative. Ah, uh, but I don't know if that's really sure. That's, like, that's somebody who knows Whether a little bit more about oil. Like, Coconut oil, avocado oil, sesame oil, like, you know. But if you spent like two seconds to understand all the oils, then you'd be a chef. 
You know exactly I, no, what No, but that's what I mean. Like, somebody who's cooking can cook, like, can cook, come to cook anything, and if they're missing something or, like, don't have something or whatever, like, they can find the right alternative that's not going to, like, ruin or take away or, or make the recipe taste bad. I see. So you always add or enhance. Yeah. I like so, it. like, they know how to use everything and, like, what they can add to make things better. And I just know how to follow directions. Interesting. To me, from what I've seen, I think you're a chef. I, I've seen plenty of people that um, think that they're chefs, but... To get the title of a chef, you have to go to culinary school. Oh, stop. <laughs> Let's go and Google this, guys. Everybody in chat, can you guys Google, does a chef have to be in culinary school to have the title chef? Or can a chef be somebody... At what rank? How? And why? I want to know more about that. Tell me right now. The title of chef, you have to go to culinary school. Damn it! The mom came in and schooled us. What's up, Falcon Dragon? Falcon Dragon, what's up, buddy? He says, what's up to you right there? Live on stream. Falcon Dragon, what's up, buddy? You have to be certified through ACF. So I guess you do have to be certified. That is something on me. I didn't know that. I just felt like Hondo's as a chef at heart. If you went to school, would you be able to handle that and actually get a chef title? Do you think you could do it? No, I don't like school. Never mind. You can't do it, guys. You will never get that title, chef. But I'm going to crown him chef. If I can find a way to get all the chefs in the world to give me that approval rate. American Culinary Federation. So what is a chef in Europe? If it's ACF, you got to go to become a chef. What does the European culinary schools give the titles to them? Are they like called chiefs? Are they called chiefs? Or like like a fish? Like a chief? I don't know what they're called. Okay, here's the legit info source. Dated a chef for four years. You don't need culinary school. The real standard is that you have to run an entire professional kitchen. If you learn on the job, you still can call yourself a chef. That's how the industry looks at it. Certs are just nonsense stuff. From Jiga Watts. What do you think about that? Interesting. You're a chef. Knock on wood. We can actually call him Chef Hondos. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call him Chef Hondos on November 26th, Thanksgiving time. Look at him going through. He says, I am a chef. That's what he just wrote right there. I am a chef. Wait, that's not that right. That's what he wrong. just wrote on. That, that's not it. Never mind. I take it back. It's called 11 a.m. I take it back. School or apprenticeship? Interesting. I don't know the EU. Certs are just nonsense. That's what I'm talking about. That's exciting. This is right now November 23rd. No, it's not. We're going to have to change this right now. He's got a Star Wars calendar. The Sith Speeder right now. Darth Maul flies with the Sith Speeder. A crescent-shaped vessel that attains incredible high speeds as a result of all the nonsense non-essential features being stripped away. We're going to go ahead and show you what the 24th looks like. And it's Boba Fett. Boba Fett is representing the 24th of November. A genetic clone of Boba Hunter, J Jango Fett, who was raised as his son. Boba Fett learns his art of combat and martial arts at an early age as his father's apprentice. He's one of the most feared and highly paid bounty hunters in the galaxy. You all know what I'm talking about. Touch and hold a clip to pin it. <coughs> Unpinned clips will be deleted after one hour. Hefty lefty. What's up, buddy? Touch and hold a clip to pin it. What? Do you know what he's talking about? What? Touch and hold a clip to pin it. Is that one of your tie clips? Oh! Uh, but then it says, Unpinned clips will be deleted in one hour. What is he talking about? Is he talking about like clips? Real clips? Pinned clips. He's talking about like clips from a... What are the... Do you have rules for your pins? Is that like a redemption thing? Boba Fett's coming to the Mandalorian near you. Oh, interesting. I don't know what Hefty Lefty's talking about. Hefty, what are you talking about, man? You completely confused the crap out of me. I was certified as a certified sous chef, but I left it lapsed. It was not easy. Oh, Scaramanga actually knows how to cook. I'm excited. So you're going to scare a manga. 
who came in and said he knows what that box was used for. He's the first one to say that was for use for Brian. We're going to have some backseat cooks tonight. I, uh, the weirdest thing I've ever brined turkeys in, and we were brining like, probably like 10 turkeys at the same time, is we went and bought a brand new trash can. And we just put all the turkeys in there, brined it outside. We were in, uh, we were in Seattle, Washington, cooking for a Williams Sonoma Thanksgiving cooking lesson. And at the end of it, everyone got to eat what we were cooking. So we had to get it all ready. And we cooked everything on the side while there was an instructor like teaching everything. And for our overnight brine, we did it in a giant trash can. <laughs> uh, and we just, it was cold enough outside where we were able to leave the birds outside overnight in the brine, like with it covered, and it was good to go. Uh, did you uh, confirm that trash can was used as a trash can before? It was brand new. Brand new trash can. We so, just bought it, like ourselves. So it was used just for the brine. Nice. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it, Frankie. Frankie likes it too. He's like, yum, 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 yum. Water is so good. Nope. Too, are you, is it too close? That's too close. Okay. Now I know how close I can take the camera. Didn't like it. Frankie's t- kind of warning you saying that the camera's too close to him. She's like, oh, shit. I'm watching the replay of the camera being so close to him. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that or a bathtub with brine and ice. Are you serious right now, guys? Yep, I've done that. A bathtub? What serious Apple Watch is yours? I think mine is about five years old. Um, how do I find out? That's a good question. Uh, I think my series is probably two years, two years old now. I'm assuming two years old. I'm going to assume that. I don't have the, the newest feature where uh, my iPhone actually shuts off every time I don't look at it. The newest iPhones, watches, the iWatches, just recently came out with the ability to stay on forever because the battery life can survive. So this is really cool, guys. He's showing you right here that this one is going to be at any time. That recipe for the cranberry sauce, you're looking at 11 a.m. for one of the actual recipes. He's got other recipe timings for like 4 and 5 p.m. 3 and 4 p.m. Very, very organized. So turkey, we're going to get it started at around 11 a.m. Um, we're going to do a brine the night before and this recipe here for a garlic herb butter compound. Uh, cranberry sauce can be done at any time throughout the day. We're going to do a baked macaroni and cheese. Baked macaroni and cheese. Oh, at 3 p.m. Oh, and then is there enough uh, oven space for all this stuff? <clears throat> we'll see. Hopefully. And then this will be it. just before two. Just stuffing. before two? No, Did you want to? Before as well. Sorry. Okay. We'll do stuffing at four as well. Four thirty. 4.30 for stuffing. Nice. Why don't you, I know you don't have to, but I'm just looking at this as a response to my OCD. Um, Make a chart? No, this. Why don't this move all the way to the right, take that go XLR, move it to the left, so you can have more mouse pad room. Because I don't want the go XLR in camera vision. Why? Because I don't want it in there? I put a tape over it on GoXLR. I have a black electrical tape on it. I mean that whole thing. I just don't want it in the camera view. Okay. I would love to know more, but I'm assuming you don't know why. That's just the only... I just don't want it in there. There's no reason to it. It looks nice. You can have different colors on every setting. You can make it all red. I could. I don't... just don't want it in the view. I know, it's weird. It's because like you don't want to respect Go XLR, or just like does it not look it's good enough for a, a setup for you? Nothing in respect. It's not for not wanting to represent a brand that's not paying me. It just doesn't look good to you. Like it over here on this side. Oh, you like it over there, but you said not in the camera. That's why I was yeah, asking. Yeah, I like question. it over here because it's not in the camera. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It. Wow. Interesting. Could be it. What is your camera angle? Maybe we can actually. No, forget it. 
but you get the idea. Camera angle is from here back that way, like mm. you. And it's like good. usually, I keep my drink over here on this side. Hmm. Could you there? In front of me? No, in front of Ace uh, Acer, right there underneath. And uh, the keyboard. I don't know if it would sit flat. You don't need to sit it flat. I, but I want it to sit flat. Let's see, it's another little perk that Hondo's wants. Makes sense. Yeah, it won't sit flat because of the lip over there and the, and the way of your keyboard. Mm -hmm. And you like this additional space because you can put stuff on here. Yeah. Yeah. You like your spot. I just have so much mouse pad room since I've talked to all the pro shooters. Yeah, I'm not told a pro me shooter. No, I'm not either. Yeah. Never I was. play like crazy pro shooters. Never games thought games. I was going to be a pro shooter. But as soon as they give me the tips and tricks of it, it became easier to kill people, clipping nice. their heads and stuff. You actually know exactly this position to this position because of that movement and you get used to it. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, I never knew that was a thing because I used to lift my mouse up and turn, yep. lift my mouse up and turn. Now I don't lift, ever. It's night, night and day. Good stuff. Arshi, sick of animal fries. What? No, animal style fries? I love, actually I don't order animal style fries. I always order animal style food in and out. Um, yeah, that or the bathtub. Is there any more friend or families coming over on Thanksgiving? Yes, we have Daya the side uh, from Adopted Affiliate. We have Hondo's Element right over here. We have Arsh TV over here. We got Ethan in the room over there. I'm gonna go say hi to Ethan in a second and his girlfriend who also Twitch streams. So it's going to be really cool. Actually, Pro Shooter 2021, not even close to Anchor 8, but uh, trying to get close. We'll see how it goes. Postal Toast, it's good to see you, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, underside of the watch face. Oh, she can actually, you can actually figure that out by doing that. Thanks, Mama. Give me one second. Let me see if I can pull this off. Live on stream. Underside of the watch face says, the Apple Series 4. Series 4 watch. Oh my god, the underside is so dirty. I don't even want to look at it. Oh my god. I just saw things underneath this watch that needs to be cleaned. Ooh. Okay. So what happens when you have a watch that you don't really check the underside of. A um, little bit of dust. Good stuff, guys. Uh, but yeah, Apple Series 4 is what I have. What do you have, Mama? Or me, not H.E. Mom. Anchor 8. <laughs> He's like, oh god. Let's go say hi to Ethan. What do you think about that? Go for it. Yeah? Let's see if he's okay with me live streaming him right now. Give me a second. Let's go ask Ethan for a question. Let's say hi to Ethan. Hey, what's up, buddy? Do you mind if I come in and actually showcase this? What's up? Do you mind if I showcase this live on stream? Uh, no, not your, not your bedroom. Just like the, the computer and like the, the screen yeah, yeah. of you shooting and everything like that. Awesome. All right, guys. We're currently in Ethan's room right now. Ethan, what are you currently playing? Uh, currently playing WoW. He's Shadow currently Land. playing WoW Shadowlands. What level are you? 55. He's level 55, folks. He's about to get out of level 60. How long did it take you to get to 55? Four or five hours? Four or five hours. Wait a second. Four or five hours to get to 55? Then that means all the people I got to level 60 got there like within like Three biscuit. Hours. Yeah, I'm not that great. I wish. I wish it would only take three hours. You have, to, you have to do a lot of mob training for yeah, that. Yeah, they did some weird dungeon thing. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, they just basically did one specific type of monster and just farmed the crap out of that. And once you found out the highest XP break per hour, they just kept going with that. But you're having fun. That's the difference. They're just doing it for a yeah, job. Yeah, I'm totally having fun. Are you having fun? So Look at that. You can, you can it. see his expression, guys. He's having the greatest time ever. He's right now going to Dr. Hiv. Hivel. Have you been there before? No, I don't know. This is a new quest. It's cool. I don't know. I just want to get to 60 so I can do in-game stuff. Nice. But it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah, so it's so when you get to level 60, uh, you can do end-game stuff? How does that work? Uh, I'm not sure yet. New expansion, so I have no idea exactly what end-game stuff is. This is for Classic, right? I'm sorry? Is this for Classic? This is No, this is Retail. Retail? They brought it down? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they Whoa. Switched they went down to from 120 to 50? 60. 60. 60 is the max level, yeah. That's weird. That, it's, it's cool, you know. They changed it up a bit. People are excited about it because they've been sitting at 120 forever, right? Yeah. Interesting. I bet a lot of people are pissed about that grind. They're like, now it's over. Now they grind again. Or people are excited about grinding. Not me. No, no. You're not, you're not a grind guy? Were you 120? 
What's that? Were you 120? I was, yeah. You know. Nice. I played a little bit of PSA and then I stopped. Nice. It got kind of boring. What guild are you in? Uh, some random fucking guild. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Hey, guys. Oh, this no. is Ethan, Hondo's Elements uh, roommate. I'm going to get a chance to go and see if he wants to play with some couch co-op with me in a minute. After I get a chance to basically uh, end the stream, I'll hang out. But I know he's currently in Shadowlands mode. I can't take him away from it. He's got to get the 60. Can't stop him. Are you going to go 60 tonight? Maybe, honestly. I don't work tomorrow, so... That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to. That's not, you want to? I want to. Oh, nice. I just don't know how long it's going to take. Nice. How many people actually play WoW that's watching right now the stream? Hmm. Let's see what they said. Series 2 Apple Watch. Is that Ethan Spielberg? No, that is not Ethan Spielberg. Yeah, is, is that your last name? No. It's, no. It's like a meme. No, it's a meme? So the answer is yes, but... Oh, it's a meme! Yeah. I did not know that. That was from Ceiling Fan Fan. Apple Series 2. A Series 2 Apple Nike. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, Uh Arshi or Honda's out. What's the best price to buy a GoXLR mixer, sampler, and voice effects? What's the best price? Honestly, I don't know. I bought it like almost a year ago, and I bet they've been increased in price like drastically. But a GoXLR is pretty damn sweet. No joke. For a lot of your needs. Um, do you stream? I don't. You don't stream? I do not stream. Damn, I was going to say your name. It's going to throw people at you. Uh, that's okay. I'm <laughs> pointless because I don't stream. No worries, no worries. Legend. Ceiling fan fan. Super excited about Ethan Spielberg. Thanks, man. That's what I'm talking about. It's a freaking legend. Hell yeah. Can't wait a chance. Uh, I haven't played WoW in so long. I played Lineage 2 and played WoW, and I got pissed off about how the death system did not basically, you know, ruin people's lives. The in WoW? Yeah. The death system, whenever you kill people out in the public, it was just oh. only dur like durability. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, what's it called? Uh, and, what is it? Um, in Lineage 2, whenever you die, you lose a ton of experience. In like, almost, lineage? like, yeah, Lineage 2. It was just all about... It was a Korean MMO, so it's really painful when you died. Very grindy, right? Very grindy, very painful. Yeah. Made you really rage inside. That's what I was into, making people rage. Yeah, well, I would rage too, but, you know, it's part of the game. I played Genshin, so I know the Genshin? Oh! You get a goo. But he's got an amazing character named Venti. Super lucky. Super lucky. And he only freaking rerolled five times. <laughs> I didn't know rerolling was a thing, honestly. No, rerolling is a thing. And you did it five times and got lucky to get Venti. That is too lucky. That's so lucky. But, uh, yeah, Venti's uh, little character's gone now. Can't get it anymore. I want to start crying. You can. Very, very rare. Very, very rare. Oh, so lucky. I'm going to go over here and check out the kitty cat. Here he is. The famous one. Oh, my God. No, 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 you can chill. You can hang out. I'm so sorry. I just sat down and the whole thing fell. Oh, you just like a belly rub. Yes, you do. Yes, you do it. You just want the attention, too. You just want the attention. You all want the attention. You all need it. Look at that. He's like, I want the attention. I want attention. I want attention. I just want attention. I want attention. I want attention. I want attention. This dog really likes attention. Not reaching. Legend. Thanks, Ethan, for taking such good care of Frankie and Jules. I'll say that to him right now. Hondo's mom says thank you for taking care of Frankie and Jules. Yeah, of course. My pleasure, Super nice. Super nice of them. All right, Mr. Hondo's. Yeah. Is there anything you want to tell Jack before we can go and raise somebody and say hello to him? Um, oh, are you going to go live right now? I'm not going live right now. No? When are you going to go live? On Thanksgiving. So make sure I tell you. Um, but tomorrow, if you want to go live again, I mean, uh, we got a couple prep things I'm going to do tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I know you're talking about going to Cooper's. You want to do it? I do not want to eat barbecue. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to be going there solo. Um, <laughs> what else? Would no. you like to court me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll head over to Cooper's and enjoy it. I'm oh. going to get my room cleaned up tomorrow. Oh, why? Because you've seen it. No, it's fantastic looking, though. Yeah, for anyone who comes you in, can show like, chat if you, want. you sure want me to show that the chat? That yeah. looks, uh, there's too many uh, things in there that would I mean, basically give, give it away. a quick. There's too, there, there's too much stuff on the floor. Oh. That gives away your intel. Mm. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do it. But yeah, he's got an amazing room right now. It's got stuff literally packed in every corner. It's a mess. 
Yeah. Big uh, mess. I'll, I'll give him that. Ooh, looks like everybody else is doing their Thanksgiving stuff too. Is that person watching a YouTube video? Yeah. Interesting. You know this person? Yep. Who is he? It's Logan. Um, a friend? Yeah, I met him at TwitchCon. Oh, nice. And then he actually lives in Florida, uh, like two hours north of Orlando. Two hours north of Orlando? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. He comes out here every now and again. It's Moist Critical. Moist Critical? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Who he's watching. Oh. Who's Moist Critical? He is a Twitch streamer, YouTuber. He's also in a couple different movies and stuff. Oh, dang. That's actually really nice. Let's see who we can send that love over. We got Honchos on. Yeah, we should probably hit him. Uh, who else is on? We do have Andy Milanakis. Team Zero, Honcho, Shoot Your Shot, Christy. Let's see Nair, here. Go treat, go to Damien two. Gaming is doing Diablo 3. Damien Maybe we can throw it at Damien. Give Damien some more people to be locked at for his new gaming. Bedtime is on. That's uh, true. We got bedtime as well. We should probably throw the bedtime. Because we're going to go see him soon. Damien's already partner. That's true. Damien, you're a partner. I'm sorry, bro. I love you. But I got to go. Probably, let's go there at the bedtime. What do you think? I think that's a good one. Yeah. Let's do bedtime. Guys, we're going to go and throw it over to bedtime. I think bedtime glows streaming. Is that correct? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, do you guys know? Don't open the closet. <laughs> Why should I not open the closet? Do they ever stream together? Is it bedtime or gaming or bedtime games? Bedtime games TV. Bedtime games TV, right? Mm -hmm. Bedtime games TV. Do they call it that because they can only play once the kid goes to bed? No, they actually have a bigger reason behind it. Um, bedtime Games uh, was was very, very close to thinking about changing their name, and I told them you don't need to. You know, long story short, you guys will make that your own, and everybody will slowly understand it. Uh, what's up, Nova Drake? Thanks for stopping by, and bye, Nova Drake. We're going to basically send that right over to uh, Bedtime Games. We're going to start the stream tomorrow. Hopefully we don't get canceled in the middle of a stream like we did earlier when we went to the supermarket. Um, but let's go throw some love over to Bedtime Games. Glow is currently streaming right now, and she, I don't know what she's doing right now, to be honest. Do you know, do you, can you confirm if she's not leaving right now? That would suck if she's leaving. Uh, she's only been on for 18 minutes. Nice, let's go ahead and throw the, that raid over there and give her some love. And looks like she dyed her hair! She dyed her hair. Give her some love over there, she's from an adopted I feel like We're gonna see her in Las Vegas coming up in the next four days. So... Give her some love, guys. I'm going to see Bedtime Glow, Bedtime Hams, Christy Got Jokes, The Other Side, Hondo's Element, hopefully. And um, I think Kay Marie's going to stop by Wing02 and his girlfriend's going to come too. Tons of people and Jaden Devon from Planet Side 2. See you guys soon. Take care. I'll see you guys. What are you